That's it? We're live? Um, no transition. This is... Honest. Oh, oh, my bad. Are we, are we starting? Are we starting? You're, you're the pros. We're we, the pros. We are on. We are live. We are live. We'll Welcome have to, to NEC. have this conversation later. But Welcome <laughs> to NEC. This Welcome. MKX? Yeah, it's MKX. So it was capped at a 32-man bracket, but nonetheless... There's still some talent here. Absolutely. Biohazard, mm -hmm. Honeybee, Katana Prime all in the bracket, and they're ready to just revisit this gem that we all know as the Mortal Kombat series. We're going to see some blood and guts this time around. It, it's been a while. It's I mean, been it's, a while. Let's you know, see some you, gore. You kind of forget what it does to you, you know, what, what seeing just a bloody mess of fatalities, brutalities, and just all around more aggressive gameplay when you get so used to looking at Injustice for two years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I really love the fact that everyone's going back to this game and just kind of playing it again. And Everyone's, saying, you know, excited for 11, so they're trying to, like, build anticipation and, like, you know, kill some time, get in the mood. <laughs> get in the mood. Yeah. Get used to holding a block button. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely a part of it. Yeah, I mean, not, not a lot of games these days are, you know, block buttons. A lot of them are back to block, and... You know, it's kind of, I, I feel like a lot of people underestimate how much of a game changer having a block button is. And, you know, I feel like it's almost like if you want to block, you have to commit to you blocking. You have to commit to blocking. So, But at the same time, there's a trade-off in that you don't have to worry about cross-up as, mu cross as much. That's true, that's true. Cross-ups aren't really a thing. But either way, I think the competitors they're hungry. To go. They're, they're hungry. Yeah. They're ready to go. Uh, so who do we got first? I know it's uh, Tizza, but I don't remember who his opponent is. But if you guys want to follow the bracket along, you can do so by going to smash.gg, and it's going to be uh, Cadmus85. Uh, Not familiar with him, but he's playing... Um, Sonya. Uh, Covert Ops Sonya. The Cusco special. Yes. And uh, yeah. Tizza... Dragon Breath Bro Raicho. Oh, yeah. very interesting. Now, Tizza was actually talking about um, Bro Raicho and how he has a lot of confidence or has always had a lot of confidence in this character. And he feels like he's very underutilized. And if there was someone more dedicated to using this character, that they could have possibly, uh, you know, found the real dirt. But we're just going right into it. The buttons are already checked. This is for real. And this is looking. Oh, my God. He's going in. Yeah. You know, Barraisha kind of reminds me of the Ninja Turtles in that he doesn't have great movement speed, but his mix-ups up close are just so volatile that it just makes him so scary up close. So like Kind of like Michelangelo. Definitely. In a way. I definitely see that. Now, watch out for that gas, because if you do oh touch it, there's, I mean, you're stunned for so many seconds there. It's just going to be a guaranteed combo. Oh, he drops it. Yeah, that's a very... But he picks him right back up again. Yeah. Well, it's... it's a little bit of rust, you know. It's it's been a while for a lot of these competitors, but he's uh, oh, he's going for nothing oh but brutals. Oh my god! He's going that for was such a quick finish. You forget how fast this game is. Sometimes. Very fast. No, it is a very quick game, and uh, Tiz actually told me before that he's going for nothing but a brutal. Should we tell him to lower the health bars? Lower, lower the health bars. bars. Lower the health bars. Dude, stop screaming. My bad. You go to options. He knows. A little decisive there. Uh, very one-sided. Very decisive. I feel like we didn't leave that corner the entire game. No. And, you know, that's another thing uh, to, to notice about MK versus other round-based games is that you never, when the round's over, positioning is still very persistent. Uh, you know, it's very, it, it's there. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't reset back to the middle like most other round-based games. If you died in the corner, you're going to wake up the next round in that corner and you know a lot of people will sacrifice the round just to get a better position for the long game and then just say that that was a meter building round some of the maps do have um interactables where yes. you can escape the corner though so you do have opportunities in some stages it's not a complete loss if so you're you in the corner so you think it's just a free get out of the corner uh, no, not exactly. At all? No, no, no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that because the opponent can make the read and put you back in the corner. No, absolutely. Uh, but they got to be aware that that's a possibility. All right. So they're just feeling each other out with buttons. Oh, and he just gets him right with a stank, but he drops it. It's hard to like seriously say. I. It's so strange to me. And he jumps right into the fart. I, I can't. I can't stomach that, man. I yeah, can't I know. Stomach it's it at all. It's so strange. 
He's got him in the corner, and hold on, Cobra Dops Sonia trying to fight out of there, but King Tizza hits him with the belly. Oh my god, and he just walks right into the stinker. You know, probably one of my favorite technical terms that's like an actual like legit term in this game is the meaty fart. The meaty fart. It what? just goes so perfectly together. And that's gonna be oh, a restand situation. The fire. So much damage over time, it makes him explode. And this is just oh, pure man. oppression here. Oh, goes for the X -ray. <laughs> he hits him with the X-ray. Now and he, so get, he gets a combo after yes. this. Yes, yeah, Sonia does get a combo after this. Let's see what the follow-up's going to be. Let's see if he can just get out of this corner because he's been losing oh. so much here. I don't see a run cancel. Uh, instead, I see, you know, I, it might have oh, been an man. attempt to a run cancel. Oh. I think he's got one more brutality to show us. Yeah, King Tease is just kind of toying with, uh, he's just playing with his food a little bit. He's playing very confidently. I mean, it's, it's complete control. You know, MK is one of those games where if someone is just a little bit better than you, it can look very one-sided. Yeah. It's just the game is so much Round offense, so much fire. aggression. And if you're not ready for it and you don't completely know your options, it's going to overwhelm you. Not sure yeah, what he was for looking sure. for there. Possibly an input error from that. And he does a mid-screen setup, a mid-screen restand. He's hitting him with that low over and over and over. Could be a brutal requirement here. It could be. I don't know. I've... You know, back when the game was in its prime, you barely saw Bo Wright show, so... Yeah, I mean, he, he was in the second group of DLC characters, so yeah. you could say it was because of that. And he was kind of outshined by the other three DLC characters. I mean, hey, the, the game had a complete patch overhaul, and, you know, it was very late into the game's life cycle, so this character could have easily been overlooked. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of a drop there. And again, the stinker. I don't know what kind of brutal we're going to be seeing this time. Oh, and it's the one from the first game. Just burns her face clean off. Tizza in complete control. Complete control. Very confident. Didn't see him going anywhere. Um, again, it's it's the differences. Those tiny little differences. If you don't, and especially if you're, you know, could be a player that played a long time ago, you know, and Boracho wasn't even in the game when no, you were playing no. it. So you're just like, what does this character do? Even even if you've played for a long time, you know, uh, Boracho just has those, like, very ambiguous mix-ups, and he can just, like, cancel into overheads, and he just has a whole bunch of strings that are just overhead low that even with experience, it's hard to guess what he's going to do next. That's true. That's true. And, um, you know, Tiza, you know, he's one of those players who, who's been really excited about Obviously, excited with everyone else about the reveal of MK11. But of course. I feel like once that game was announced, he I, I stopped watching. I, he, I don't see him streaming at Justice anymore. He's just playing MKX. He knew that this tournament was coming up. He is a local guy. Mm -hmm. uh, goes to school in New Jersey right here. Oh, Rut okay. Rutgers, Newark. And, you know, he's excited. Yeah. Being here in Jersey or even in this, in this tri-state area, it's so great. Because you have access to so many different events yeah. all year round. I yeah, mean, absolutely. You know, we're, we're, we have the biggie events. We have East Coast Throwdown. Like, we have three great tournaments. And even on a local year. level, like, we have one of the most uh, famous locals in, like, the whole world, Next Level Battle Circuit, That's taking true. place in Brooklyn every single weekend, That's pretty true. much without stopping, except for, like, holidays and, and weather. I don't even think they stop for, for either of those two. <laughs> <laughs> I think they stopped for a blizzard once. One time. But you know, that's the exception. D does the blizzard stop the subway? The subway's underground. Why would it stop the subway? Well, it stops the subway, but every other form of travels is a bit difficult. It's tough. It's tough out there. But they are very dedicated. and. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I hope to see a revitalization in the NetherRealm uh, New York scene through Next Level when MK11 comes out. It's You know what it is, man? It's so tough when you have a game like this Juan Wike is coming what? up to the stream Juan Wike Juan Wike Juan Wike versus Scavenger yes now it's these are two faces I'm not super familiar with no so me neither we might see a little bit more of a of an even playing field here but yeah. you know who's to know one of them could be just an amazing hidden player the other one that'd be a nice treat I mean hey man this could go anywhere even though this game, you know, obviously we're not playing it. It's not in its prime. You know, not everyone's playing it for hours and hours every day. But I feel like whoever doesn't win this tournament mm -hmm. out of the, the, the top hitters that are in here are definitely going to be a little salty. 
A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. It, it hurts your pride, and it it's sorry. Uh, we're dealing with uh, something here. Uh, you choose. You choose no variation. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I, yeah. How do you do it? How do you get Cyber Sub Zero? Aaron Black. Album? Aaron Black. Sorry, we have a, a te very technical question here. How do you how do you play a Cyber Sub Zero? <laughs> I think he got it. You have Try to pick. I, I know you have to pick no variation. Um, I just don't remember that, exactly that, what that button. That looks it like is. Sector. It's definitely it's, Sector. It's been a while for a lot of us. Or unless is he just going with Sector? I I, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you want to pick the character that you want to pick. Sure. Oh, okay. So you're next. You wanna you wanna pick the character you wanna play with, mm -hmm. but I mean, you know, it's been so long. I'm sure everyone's just kind of. No, he did not mean to pick Sector. Everyone's just trying to, you know, get the dust the cobwebs off. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, you know, there, there I, I was actually playing there casuals we go. before. There we go. I was playing casuals before, and uh, Faceless Man was actually like. Wait, I don't know why my delay wake up's not working. And I was like, oh, dude, you're holding switch stands. That's injustice. <laughs> That's injustice, too. Oh, thank you. Round one, fight. So the interesting thing about, like, this time period of MKX, this era of MKX, is that, like, you know, it's, it's past its, like, big tournament prime, but there are still a lot of players that, like, still actively play it that are, like, relatively unknown. So, like, the kind of exciting part about it is to s see those, like, new players come out and, like, show potentially show people something they don't know about. Yeah. Like, you know, there's the famous uh, Ninja Killer who's yes. been making a lot of uh, rounds online. He's been making a very strong impression uh, over with top players the last, the last few months. Sure. I mean, he's... It's when someone's practicing so much day in and day out, of course, they're going to naturally be very good at it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but I think it's more of the question of if he was around, would he be a threat? And, you know, I feel like it, that's so no hard matter, to say, you know, it, it is. I mean, no matter what, you're, you're passionate about the game. You love the game you play. And I don't think Ninja Killer really cares either way. He just wants to play MK. Yeah, yeah. He just wants to play MK and he's he's really good at it. But here we go. We have uh, so he picked Cyber Sub Zero, and it's really working out for him. <laughs> yeah. See, the the thing that I, I see no Scavenger doing that. a lot of jumping around. Yeah, when, he's doing. When a you lot see of those jumping. projectiles, you really need to just kind of stay calm and, and understand that you know it's not. I feel like jumping projectiles is, is more of like a different fighting game uh, mm -hmm. take. And you definitely don't really want to do that in MK necessarily. Got him in the corner. This is going to be a tough position there, and oh, not sure if he wanted that dive kick. Oh, and we're seeing some of those uh, unique uh, outlaw strings. Yeah, outlaw was a very popular character at first, and Sonic Fox really put Aaron, uh, outlaw and Aaron Black in general on the map. But as time as time went on, and with all the nerfs that Aaron Black gets, some justified, some you know can arguably not be justified, but. Either way, we, we definitely need to stop seeing Outlaw after a while. Oh, yeah. And what a beautiful freeze there, just stopping him, making sure he had no option there. Tries to chip him out, and it just wasn't enough. No fatality here because no. this is a first to three. We're mm -hmm. not going to get that serious, are we? Triborg wins. You send a message when you fatality the guy at first rounds. Oh, you just do, like, the Rio and MK9 the Rio. Exactly. every single... <laughs> back before we had restart button, back before anything, just to be Rio, he decided to fatality everyone every single time. Just just why? That those, was his thing. That was his, that was his signature. Yeah. And those fatalities in MK9, they were long. So you, <laughs> you had to hold those. You know, Bay Balities, for as, like, you know, as humiliating as they could be, they were quick. Yes. Yes. But I would still rather get fatality every single round then, mm -hmm. yeah. then get one babality it's, it's, it's really it's, it's one of the most disheartening things that can happen to you in any fighting game okay so he switches to cut throat Kano this might work out for him he's using that uh, uh, 4 two, one, two string very effectively it's a nice uh, mid, mid string that can be um, you can't you can cancel it into the uh, the knife swipe to make yes. it a little bit safe absolutely 
and then uh, if you hit him with it, it's a good, it's a good uh, counter, it's a good counter, hit, a uh, a good hit confirm. I see he's uh, spacing him out with um, with the knife projectiles. Uh, if he was going cybernetic, those um, knives would be mid. Yes, and uh, way more uh, frequent. Yeah, <laughs> way more frequent. Beautiful meter burn there, or uh, enhanced knife toss there. Did get him the win. Get him that little extra edge he needed. And cut for Kano just going right into it, deciding not to hold back, deciding to just play the aggressor here as he's just moving Cyber sub -Zero a little bit closer to the corner, but he does fight his way out with that wake-up attack. Beautiful slide there. Got to check your feet. Oh, there's that's the classic mix-up. Dive kick into uh, Ice Bomb. Yeah, and you know, the Ice Bombs take so long to really get going, really oh, get started. You really have to be very meticulous about when you place them. And uh, you know, Juan and doing that, a great job. Him out. Yeah, there you go. Trading it up, going round for round here. Scavenger needs to get his spacing back. He needs to scavenge his spacing back. Yeah, no. Well. I, I definitely agree. I mean, there's just play it a oh, little bit more oh, lame. Oh, that's not a trade in his favor, but he breaks it. Yeah, you don't want to trade with that. Um, so, you know, I, I think he was he was banking on the fact that if this did go wrong, you know, we could still go with Breaker. You know, I feel like that's usually that first wall that you want to get away from from your opponent's defensive duels. Get rid of that Breaker, get rid of those two bars, and then just find the opening again. Mm -hmm. A lot of Kano balls. Just missing it going. Different tat here. Oh, I like the idea. I like the idea, but he did it too early. Oh, and he gets that uh, upward cannonball. The upward cannonball is great because it, it works like a DP, but it's only minus six, which is kind of crazy. But it is what it is. Finish it is what it is, man. I think he say, needs it. He, he needs it. Triborg wins. Sure. 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 Why not? I mean, it's just like a DP. You know, it's... Round one. Fight. MK's always been three out of five. Okay. Has it always been three out of five? It's always been three yeah, out of five. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of Injustice One when we had a, a two out of three Evo. Oh, that was crazy. That was great. Uh, we had uh, Evo 2016. We had two out of three MK for like everything until top eight was uh, was two out of three and like everyone like you know. No, I'm talking about MKX Evo 2016. We're trying to revisit history here and try to remember how exactly the most prestigious tournament of the year screwed us over and over. Well, you know. It's gotten a little bit better over the years. Oh! Ooh, that's an X-ray. The Hail Mary X-ray. I don't, this is not going to be enough to kill, but it will give him a much better position to make this comeback. He needs to make this count. Oh. Get away from those dive kicks! Those dive kicks are everywhere! Checking out the bombs and just getting hit with every single knife toss there. Oh my god. Now, uh, unlike most fighting games, the uh, dive kicks in this game are overheads. So, uh, maybe, maybe Scavenger is not realizing that... Um, Oh, there we go. There's, we had, we almost had a juggle there. Did we? Yeah. Did we? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> a little dash. He could have ended it, run. and he would have gotten a solid meterless combo. Now, here's the thing: Is Juan gonna swag out and give us a beautiful brutality? I would love to see a stage brutality if he can hold that switch stance and hit him. No, nope, never mind. Or even a stage fatality. He's just all business, man. All business. All business. He did it. Get off the screen. Get off the setup. Let me go to my next match. It's over. It's over. I believe you're. I am next. Gonna be next. Time to put on a show. Are you ready? I'm this, ready. You're playing your 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 lifelong friend here. Yeah. This is gonna be personal. Yeah. Right. It's gonna be. Tears are gonna be shed. Maybe not mine, but. <laughs> wow, it's that free. I, well, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna laugh. I at you, you, you know what? You know it's actually fun. I haven't played an MKX yet. So let's do this. Can 
you please? Put... No, don't do that. Go do what? That is a massive case for that switch. What are you talking about? It's not a switch. It's a, it's a smash box. Yeah, that's all it's good for. <laughs> Why do I have a K? Oh, shit. I have a K in my name now? Fantastic. You're a stick. Like a stick that you hit someone with. Wow. That's terrible. Let me pull out my controller. All right. Can I switch now? Can you please? No. Can you can please I play not do this? Okay, fine. Hi, guys. So I'm joined here by my very good friend. Fantastic. We're friends? You Fuck. might remember him. I knew it! I knew it! I was going to make a friend before the end of the year, and I did it. Guys, I made a friend. <laughs> Just calm down. All right. What's up, guys? So it's been a while. Finally, you moved back up to the, the real East Coast. <sighs> I guess. Away from North Carolina. I got, like, snacks and stuff for us. Oh, that's thank, thank you. It's really nice of you. Um... Yeah, I moved back up. Uh, it's been fun. It's, uh, it's been a while. I yes, mean, I've still been watching the streams and stuff. Sure, sure. But I uh, haven't really been playing much besides Third Strike, the best game ever. No one wants to hear about Third Strike. It's a really old game. <laughs> it is. It's uh, It's not as old as uh, UMK3, which is in my top five games. UMK3 top five game? Of all time, yeah. Top five fighting games of all time. Are you saying of all time like they're still relevant now or good for when it came out? Uh, I don't. No, 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 no. Like just in general. In general. In general, okay. like a great fighting game. Like uh, most of the fighting games that were good were good by mistake, and it was really like how we got like normal cancels by mistake. Yeah, like yeah. combos and stuff like that, and then from <laughs> combos it like implemented into like different things. But uh, MKX, uh, MK UMK3. We're going back. We're going back to UMK3. One of the top five games of all time, definitely. MK2 Six probably games. makes my top ten. MK2? Yeah. You know, it's, it's MK2 was good. I I enjoy playing MK2. I just feel like it's really hard to. I feel like it's really hard to, to dive deep into the game because it's a little bit. It feels a little sluggy. Kind of, but um. But I I kind of like that. I like that anytime you press the block button, you have to commit to blocking, and that you can't just split second react with anti airs. You have to kind of like anticipate them. That is true. So, and right now we got Professor KO versus Tip Top. And funny thing is, Tip Top was just talking about how he's going to destroy Jeremy, but you know, is this a button check? This is a button. This got to be a button def check. Definitely not a button check. No, it's got to be. Jeremy said that this was going to be free. He was on here and he said, all right, this is going to be free. But wait, hold on. Tip Top said it was going to be free. Did he mean for like Jeremy for here? Like he, he must have because right now this is looking very <laughs> one-sided. <laughs> I'm looking at his face right now. He's just like, all right, pretty good, man. You know, yeah, I'm getting messed up. This isn't even his real variation. He's going to pick someone else. It's okay. <laughs> no, Jeremy was actually pretty good when the game first came out. You know, he was going to the locals. Uh, I remember him in uh, going to the... One of the first locals that popped up for MKX in Connecticut. I believe he got very close to, to a top three placement there. Really? Yeah. Nice. And I can see why. I mean, look at look at this. What is this? <laughs> just hold, wow. Just hold this track. What happened? Like, you told you told me that you were gonna Jeremy, don't even look at me right now. You're you're disgusting. Don't even look at me. Tip top's just like, I don't know, friend. I thought I had it too. <laughs> I thought I had it, man. This he's is, like he, he's smiling. He's like, damn, maybe this isn't as free as I thought it was gonna be. Now this is uh, he looks free, <laughs> like all right. So it's kind of like uh, when you see somebody play and you're like, oh, he's bad, and then you play him, and you're like, oh, maybe he's not bad. <laughs> maybe he's just not playing his his character. Oh, there we maybe go. Going Grandmaster, to Grandmaster, Grandmaster. Now the Ice Clone, since its existence, has been one of the most annoying things in the neutral when it comes to any kind of approach mm -hmm. in a 2D fighter. I, mean, I agree. The fact that it's just in your face. <laughs> it just sits active. there and you're like, I can't press a button or I'm going to get frozen. Now and that's all assuming that it works properly. That's true. All right, first meter goes to Tip Top. Let's see what he can do. I want to see some adjustments, but right now he's still getting hit. 
Yeah, I feel like he's doing a really bad job of, of, of just stopping the wow. overwhelming... No combo! What? Yeah, no, that's a huge drop there. Once you get a... Fro Once you free somebody with Sub-Zero, that's a free combo into a setup, or at least a little bit of spacing if you're trying to play lame, but I just saw a dropped opportunity there. Checking him there with a down three. Not sure what he's looking for, but Jeremy doesn't care. He's pressing buttons. He's throwing interactables, and now he's in the corner. Beautiful neutral jump kick. Very good. Oh, my God. Jeremy, K Jeremy KO... Where were you? Where were you during MK's lifespan? Just here hiding. He was he was waiting for the day. He was been playing ever since it died, and now he's back for its resurrection. Right before MK11. He's ready. He's ready. We just gotta hope Kotal Khan's in uh, MK11. Could be. He could be. Wow. And this is not looking good. This is curtains. This is definitely curtains. I think Jeremy might be looking for some kind of brutality. I would love to see something. Show it off just a little bit. At least give me a fatal, bro. Do something, please. Go. Wow, really? Ooh, stepped on your shoes. That's offensive to New York people because they really hate that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. You know, That's just specific like, to like, the tri-state area. Like If you step on someone's shoes, well, then again, they're buying like the four or $500 sneakers, so... So if it kind of makes sense. So if you want to be really tough, go around New York and just start and just step stepping on, on, on as many white shoes as you possibly can. All of them. Oh, dude, it was on. You stepped on somebody's new Air Forces, that was it. It was a game over. You were getting stomped out, and then they were going to clean off their shoes. <laughs> but back to the match. Right yeah. now, I don't know what Tip Top's thinking. I think he should apologize to Jeremy. He should. He should apologize to all of us, too, for just showing us this... This display of Sub Zero. I mean, this is Grandmaster. I mean, this is Grandmaster. Like this Grandmaster is looking like a fraud without that lag switch right now, yeah. right? How'd you make it a Grandmaster rank without the lag? Can't. You just can't. It's impossible. He couldn't. Oh, there, oh, there we you go. go. Getting frozen. Neutral jump. Punk. Combo. Continuing the combo. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice three hit combo. Can you stop? I'm sorry. That was great. Can you stop? I'm sorry. I take it all back. And uh, can we can we get an adjustment on that hitbox there? Not really sure if Sub Zero's slide should count if you hit his face. I mean, it's his whole body he's throwing at you, so why not? So he just goes face first right into you, just. Dude, if you go face first into somebody, your face is gonna hurt, but they're gonna kind of hurt, right? So maybe that should be the trade-off. It should be. It should be the trade-off. Just like a little bit of damage. No, I mean like if Sub-Zero hits you with his face during his slide, he should at least take 10%. 10%? That's a lot in MK. I mean, you're hitting somebody with your face. How much... You don't think your face is going to hurt after a slide? There's people out there that want to hit you with their face. That's their goal. I mean, it's called a headbutt, but I there mean... There you go, yeah. What Soccer happened? players, they can take that. No, Oh, they can't. wake up X-Ray! Is this going to be enough? To win a round? <laughs> Not no! even! Oh my god, please don't lose. Please don't. Yes! He got it. He's like, up on he the board. He put, his, he put his finger up. He was like, I got one. All right, come on. Back to the round. <laughs> this is our pop-off cam. It's oh, we okay. got a pop-off cam? Yeah, that's a pop-off cam. This is definitely not eSports then. We're not on We're not on ESPN, right? Uh, I think we might be on the Disney Channel. Wait, you can put Mortal Kombat on Disney? No, you can't. Then. So let's not get our hopes up for next year. All right, year. Nickelodeon. Maybe. No. Dude, Just they have Ren no. No, they have Ren and Stimpy in, in the '90s. They definitely have to have. The, the '90s was the '90s, man. Like that's over. Yeah, but Powder Toast Man. Powder Toast Man was. And Log. You know what Log really was, right? No. He's out, he's tell out me. in the water. No. It was a piece of. Oh wait, look at this combo. All right, we'll find more about. We'll find out more about Log here. But Jeremy Ko maybe possibly taking it a little easy on Tipped Up. Never mind. Never mind. We don't get a brutal. What a savage. Though. I want to see the the fatality at least. Fatal. fatal. Do you remember? No, he he's not a real MK player. What? He doesn't know any fatalities. You could have pressed start, attempted it, and then messed and it then up. And then messed it up, and then we would have made more fun of you. Way to, way to ruin the show. Who did that in the past? Do you remember? Chris G. Was it? Yeah, he One did. One time. He was just like, you know what? I'm going to do this. He did it. He looked at the menu, did it wrong, went back into the menu to look at it again, and did it wrong. And then he tried it again the next match and still did it wrong. You know, if you don't practice those fatalities, we'll catch up to you. Yeah, eventually. And, and I feel like another person who also did that was uh, MIT. I believe it was MIT during MKX. Mm -hmm. Wasn't sure what Tanya's fatality was, and I, I oh, I remember this, that. This might have been this might have been at a Yomi local, but it, it was a great, <laughs> great clip. It but 
coming up next on stream. It's going to be Biohazard and Mike Metroid. My, Mike Metroid, no I've way. heard. No way, Biohazard, what's up, dude? Long time no see. Like, now, no, Mike Metroid loves, loves this game. Mike Metroid. He loves this game almost as much as he loves Injustice. No, really, Mike Metroid is uh, you know, one of those dinosaurs that just loves playing MK9 and says that everything else is bad. All right, look at here, old man. I don't think you can call him a dinosaur, and neither can I. This kid's like 22, maybe 21. He's young. He's a young gun. He's young. Just graduated from college, so he's, he's in the real world now. He's got a, he's got a career. One week sub-zero. All right, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. One week? How'd you let him take a round off of you? Wow, scrub. Making the reads. Making, making what reads? Yes, the instruction that, manual? What that, do you mash, mean? that mash down three at the <laughs> end. Yeah, that, that was a real read right like, there. Oh, he was making reads. It's like, yeah, he read the instruction manual. He barely... He got a three-hit combo that did 7%. He forgot his launcher combo. That's what it was. I think you were looking for 2-2. Two, two. Dude, he did... <laughs> what was it? He did freeze... And then did hey, neutral, jump, neutral punch. jump punch, one. That's it. I mean, <laughs> if you give my friends some credit. He's like, I'm trying to give him some credit, guys. No. If you wanted to give him credit, you would have let him take a game. He was like, never. We're not that good friends. Mike Metroid, a big advocate of Johnny Cage. It doesn't matter what game he's playing. If he's playing MK2, MK3. MK, MK advanced anything. Yeah, he's gonna be trying. He's gonna go for this character. He loves this character. And now, what makes Nut Punch such a great tool in a game like MKX is that it takes away that option to wake up. It takes away their nuts right. on wake that up. That too. Yeah. Fight. Damn. That is just a button check. <laughs> it's like you now do 10% less damage because you have a lot less testosterone. That's it, man. I mean, it's 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 Look it's related. It. Wow, you saw that. They did paper and then they switched to rock. That was really smooth. <laughs> that was like almost Snoop Dogg levels. I think they planned that. Wow, first attack, Mike Metroid. Okay. All right, Mike Metroid getting that bonus meter at Biohazard. Going with Commando Kano here. This is weird. I've never seen him play Commando Kano. He plays a lot of Piano Kano. Or he did back in the day. Uh, now, this is the Kano that has the variation where he can command grab him just like that. And is Biohazard really Biohazard if he doesn't have access to a command he grab? He needs a command grab. Needs it. If he plays a character without a command grab, it's like, you're not biohazard. You're like safety hazard. Safety hazard. <laughs> Could be. He's just honest hazard there. Checking him there again with the down three. Now, really, Mike Metro. Yeah, tee off. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful mix up there with the overhead. That's the one thing I love about Fisticuffs, Johnny. He just tees off. I remember uh, the first time I saw that was... Uh, I believe DJT versus Sonic Fox. Yes, yes. That was... Oh, oh, oh Mike Metroid oh with God. the comeback! Mike Metroid! He's still playing this game. Look at his face. Look at his face. He is so serious he's, right he's now. He's super serial. This oh. is corporate Mike Metroid right now. I mean, hey, man. You're going back and forth with, with a beast like Biohazard. It's definitely something to be proud of. Beautiful down to beautiful recognition of the jump in here. Dude, don't let me get around on Biohazard. Even if it's in casuals, I'm popping off. Popping off. I don't know why he didn't pop off right here. He wants the win. He wants the actual win. Me, I would be okay with just like the one round. I'd pop off and probably just like probably eliminate myself. It's like you'll never beat me ever again. Oh, beautiful backdash there. Doesn't get hit by the knee, but Biohazard right behind it. The down Kato ball. Looking oh, he's for rushing down. Yeah, he was good looking block. for a tick throw. Wow, good overhead. Let's go. You know, and that's the thing with Johnny Cage is that he bothers you so much with the frame advantage from that down four that wow. you just don't want to take it anymore. Oh, right. Mike. Oh, no. That was actually pretty close. It was, especially because of the comeback factor that Johnny Cage gets at the end. When he's down to very little health, all his green stuff turns red and does a lot more damage. So you're saying he becomes evil? Yes, just for a brief second. Got it. Oh, doesn't block the low. The nice. Low. Wake up. Nice uppercut. Let's go. Bring the bring those fists. Bring me the fist oh, cuffs right there. Yeah, he can't get a cross up right now. Mike Metroid on point with those anti airs. Plus, oh no, the rush down command grab. Shake him. Why you little down three? Nice oh, armor. Oh, oh my god, the hair. I could I can't believe he's doing it. Oh, nice. he made it all. oh my god, get it! Hurt. Plus, oh my god, the creep. <laughs> What's yeah! up? What's up, says Mike? That's Metroid. why we have the pop-off camera for that reason. 
Biohazard just lost his sponsorship. This just in. <laughs> There's no way. Biohazard lost his sponsorship right it's now. It's done. I don't even know why he's still wearing it. He should just take it off. Just start taking off your sponsored stuff. Mike Metroid is now sponsored by uh, UMK3 Scorpion. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Old Scorpion's coming back. MK11. Let's go. He has to come back. And again, Mike Metroid with the first, first hit. hit. It's so important. It's super important, yeah. Beautiful. And he got breaker right away. Okay. So able to kind of stop the momentum here from Biohazard, but he's finding himself a little bit closer to the corner. And oh Biohazard God, attacking a little too early. Nice block. But right now Mike Metroid in the corner, but he's fighting back. Ooh, no whiff punish. Nice combo. Yeah, I love the nice, beautiful good block. The beautiful fake. Not finishing the string, not going wow. low. Let's but hold go. on. This is gonna hurt. No, this is too much. Too much damage. No breaker. Oh my god, the Dimaggio, and he's done. He's done. I love, right. the, I, love, I love the decision there by Biohazard. Go with the special move, build a little bit more meter, and just secure that round. Definitely a good idea right there. And right now, Mike Metro is having a tough time getting out of this corner. But as soon as I say that, he's fighting back. Here we go. He's ready. Back away from the corner. Nice whip what punish. Beautiful oh. bait there by Biohazard, but he drops it. The drops execution. The nice mix-ups. Down three, just checking him over and over again. A little bit faster than down four, but doesn't give you as much frame advantage, but hold on, Biohazard, ready to make a statement. Beautiful whiff punish there by Mike Metroid. Good blocks from Mike Metroid, very good patience, and the uppercut, down twos, baby. Just telling him, I know you're gonna press a button here. I know you're gonna press a button here. So I much mean, damage, so fast, no time to even go for a breaker. Who's getting first hit, who's getting first hit? Oh my god, Mike Metroid again! Mike Metroid has gotten first hit every single time. Beautiful launcher there. Are we going to see it? Yes, nut punch, leaving him in a standing position and going nice for the throw! throw. The that first was so throw. smart. That the was smart. first throw of the entire set. That was super smart. He hasn't gone for it the entire set in game three. Bust it out. Or not, man. No one's going to see it coming. Whoa, no confirm. Nice block on the low. I feel like wow, Biohazard, like, punch. he's taking the damage because he doesn't want to give Mike Metroid the opportunity with that low. I don't know, man. Mike Metroid looking really good right now. Oh, wow! No! The delay wake up! Hello, Michael. Can we call him Mikey Cage? Good. Could be his new name. And again, just picking his spots so carefully, so precisely is Mike know. Metroid. I don't know about you, but it's kind of looking like Mike Metroid has been playing more than Biohazard right now. <laughs> it's definitely true. Beautiful cancel there by Biohazard. It's going to be doing so much damage. Oh Too my god! For all What's of going this! On? The down two just to chip him That's, out! What? Biohazard, when did... Uh, somebody check the PlayStation for Game Shark. Definitely not, man. That is pure Biohazard right there. Nah, it's it's got to be Game Shark. I think it's making a comeback. Whiffs it there, and that's going to be a great trade for Mike Metro. Oh, wow. actually comboed. That's actually really smart to corner switch just to start teeing off on him. Why not, man? You build so much meter when you force your opponent to block something, and that's really what makes MKX such an aggressive game. It really, really rewards the aggressor. Oh, the X-Ray! Where's your jaw? <laughs> My hazard's like, yeah, that's cute. That's cute. I like Mike Metroid going with, with, with the easier follow-up. You know, no I, I, no reason to just to drop it in a tournament setting. Honestly, yeah. it's better to go for guaranteed damage right now, especially uh, how intense this match is going. Wow, no whiff punish, but that was a great back dash. Oh, the oh, overhead! The overhead. This, this is it. Game over. GG. Wow. It's okay. Biohazard just like, yeah, who lost whose sponsorship? Nobody. It's yeah. like they're sending him test messages right now. It's like, bro, you're back on the team. Back on the team, man. That, back that, on the team. More than 50% combo, you're back on the team. <laughs> Mike's like, yeah, he did do more than 50%. <laughs> I mean, look, e either way, man, these guys are slugging it out. It's a this really, is a, really this great, is great set. match. It's yeah, a great this set. This is a great set. I love you guys for this. Thank you. I'm not even drunk, and I can say I like this. <laughs> Why not? Oh, Biohazard getting the first hit instead, going uh -oh. straight with that down four. See, this is the downfall. It could be, but hold on. We got stunt double oh. Johnny Cage. Now what he does is he gets those clones ready to go, and it, it kind of gives him more access to those unsafe options by making them safer. Bro, it's called Ganasian. I play. I there play you go. Game. You play third strike. Yeah, this is Ganasian. 
for yeah, those Yeah, but what is know. Kano doing? He's hurting him. 49% that 17 hit combo. The overhead opening what? him up over and over oh, again here. Okay, whatever. Now, now you're just flexing your sponsorship on me, bro. Round two. Fight. Beautiful BC, forward three there. BC definitely stands for British Columbia, right? Yeah, that's it. That, every time you see BC together, that's what it stands for. Got it. Nut punch. Going for the low this time. Okay, Committing. And I love the combo ability there, thanks to the, the stun nice double. plus. Wow. Even catches him back. That, that was almost a flawless. Listen here, listen, Michael. Listen here. Mike Metroid ready to play. The down two going over to the other side. And the low mixing him up. Mike Metroid's like low and overhead. How am I supposed to block it all? The down four. Stunt doubling up. Using that meter to make sure it's still safe. Checking him with a nice down check. one. Wow, Whoa. the uppercut. Just, nope, disrespect. Just do, it. Just do it. That's disrespect right there. That's not disrespect. That's how you play the game. No, Up Kano Ball. Down four. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Now that wasn't disrespect. You used armor because you respect your opponent. Oh. And right now he is, oh, no. He is death. That was an exciting match. Come on. Let me, let me get a round of applause. You still lost your sponsorship, by. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have let Mike get a single game. No, that was definitely a great set. Either that was a great way. set. The guys yeah. were going back and forth. Even in that last game where Biohazard won, Mike Metro had that one very decisive round. I mean, he did utilize a lot of his meter. He did, but it was still almost a flawless. Yeah, no, it was, it was close. It was really, really good. Like, those are the type of matches that when I see it, I get so excited for both players that I kind of just want to walk up to them and take both their sticks and throw them on the floor. Just throw them out of excitement. You just, out of you excitement. Can't, just like you sure. can't hold it in. And you just it's not premeditated. It's just straight up like, oh, my God, I can't believe this is so high. Boom. You just grab it and chuck it across. <laughs> throw it across the room, hit a couple stream setups. Why not? <laughs> That's eSports, right? That's e it's hype. nothing but esports. There, like, that's the definition of esports. Yeah, just throwing your excitement stick. sports. Not no, not just throwing your stick. You have to throw other people's. Other stick. people's sticks too. Uh, you, who was the first? Who was the first person to throw someone else's controller? Was I it smooth? It was, was it smooth viper? It was NBC smooth viper. Yeah, yeah, definitely smooth viper because he popped off. Be fanatic, like. <laughs> So armor he popped just, off. Be yeah. fanatic. He be fanatic. He went over, grabbed his arc, like grabbed his, his pad. controller. It was a pad. It was yeah. a PS2 pad. He grabbed it. No, he threw it down and into the crowd, like down into the crowd, and then they almost got into a fight. <laughs> like, how do you get to that level of like disrespect that you're not just like they kind of hate me? I hate you so much that I'm gonna grab your stuff and break it. <laughs> Like, you don't see that anymore. That doesn't exist. I mean, you can take my Switch and throw it if you want. Yeah, I mean, that's, this is a hefty case. It's a battery case. But, like, it's so solid. And it has two... Uh, two stands? Yep, two little flippy do you wanna Do you want to plug? What are you doing? Are you plugging yeah. this? Yeah, uh, Antec. You can see it right here. Wait, check. There's the camera. If you, and, the big sorry. blue light. I was like, let's do the camera. Where's thing. the camera? There we go. Antank. 40 bucks on Amazon, guys. And it gives you about a full charge, I want to say, or maybe more than a full charge. So, yeah, I used to use this a lot when I was too hungover in Japan. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, 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 I got it after Japan. When I was too hungover at home, that I was too lazy to play it docked, I would just pull it off, put it on my bed, and hurt on the inside while I'm playing. While you're being bad at Mario Kart? Fuck you, I'm not bad. You're just a cheater. Who's, who starts off on 200cc? Nobody. I'm just saying, I, I've been playing the game for a week, and 200cc is awesome. Yeah, whatever. So this is the guy who plays initial D, like, no headlights on. Blind attack. You blind attack yourself. Blind attack, guru. He plays no headlights on, so you can't see where he's going. Not everyone knows about how initial D works. All right, so in initial D, if you're Miguel, you cheat. But if you're me, you try to drift around the corners. It's blind attack. So if you're me, you try to drift around the corners and you try to play the game as nicely and fairly as possible. If you're Miguel, he planned your murder already. He did. All right, guys, let's uh, let's make this interesting. Let's do an AMA for all seven people watching. Yeah, AMA. Why not? AMA on Twitter. We're waiting in between matches. Yeah. So all right, now we're really kicking it old school. We're going to inter. Are we doing Twitter or can we do the Twitch uh, chat? 
shit. Yeah, let, let's bring let's, up. Oh, hold on. We got we got a plug here. All right. Hoodie we, season's here, guys. It's time to bundle up. It's time to get all this beautiful hoodie wear. I mean, look at that beautiful yeah. black and green. It is cold AF. And Whoa, you're going speaking too of fast. not cold, you're going too speaking fast. Speaking of not cold, defend the North in July in New York. Wait, Manhattan? Yeah, it's going to be expensive. Oh, man, it is. <laughs> I mean, but at least I we're mean, actually in go. New York. You need to go. We're actually um, in New York, though, so it's worth going. Shout out to Quambo. They give 10% off every single tournament you can think of. Um, wait, I shouldn't have said that. Um, no, it's only for special events like NEC. It's every tournament. All right, Hitbox, Smashbox, uh, smash your way in to people's houses and no it's just a hitbox that's all it is but for some reason smash players love calling it a smash box they just like putting smash into every word they say okay winter brawl these are 3d games and now it's uh biggie switching it up a little bit tekken 7 so caliber 6 dead or alive 6 and blaze blue cross tag battle we're not doing any street fighter because that's a bad game wait what is what is wrong with you it is bad no is it is no Street Fighter Five is not a bad game. I mean, maybe everyone watching right now thinks that because the finals are happening right now. It is a bad game. So you know, I, I guess everyone agrees with you. So if you guys want to interact in the Twitch chat, please show some poggers in the chat. Jesus Christ! There's 71 thousand people watching Street Fighter. All right, I'm not gonna commentate. I'm just gonna watch Street Fighter. No yeah, way. go away. Thanks. I feel like I'm ready to play because I have this stick on my lap. Dude, that'd be so messed up if like. <laughs> If like uh, you know how they banned wireless Ooh. pads during the PS3 era, yes, because during one of the Evo East tournaments, somebody in the crowd was actually playing instead of like that's the people awful. That, yeah, that's the worst story I've ever heard. Yeah, somebody in the crowd was actually playing the top eight match instead of the person that was in top eight. I mean, the person that was playing in the crowd was already in top eight, so he yeah. was playing for his friend. It's okay. pretty pretty cool. And then that's when they banned wireless controllers. Not now. Anyways. We got, we got Killtron. Kiltron. Let's go, Killtron. We got Killtron going up against T9. Killtron rocking the Jason Voorhees. I'll go for Jason Voorhees because Jason's Jason. I heard Jason's one of the lamer horror characters. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful whiff punish there. Just, you know, just Let's stopping go, Kiltron. Nice delay. Hug him. Mm. Nice hug. Oh, beautiful wake up there by... T9 trying to go in there and kill trying trying to get out of the situation goes for the delay wake up nice block good patience a lot Come of on. down ones let me see some hugs uh, I want to see some back one twos that's what I want to see that's, that's my favorite string from Jason I think that's every Jason there we player. go there you go checking him there trying to I think right now kill trying trying to get a feel for what he wants to do but here we there go, we go. Get confirm nice choke watch the wake up Wow Ooh. Okay. Now, what's so great about Jackie's wake up is the fact that it switches sides. But hold on. Speaking of switching sides, that neck mm. is broken. You're in a bad position here. Don't try That's to it. get yep. out of here. Let's go, Killtron. Jackie, a little salty about that. Pounding on the ground. It's Killtron looking to just back one, two, right back in there. Hey, that reminds me of Injustice's get out. <laughs> yeah, you and uh, you and Tom Brady think so. It's true. Forward three. Love it there. Going for the choke. And, you know, that's a great move to just kind of throw out there in the neutral. Uh, a lot of people don't see it coming. And it's just such a great tracking tool. It really is. It's good to close the gap. Yeah. Especially, uh, it's good for whip punishing, actually. Because mm -hmm. like, you know how sometimes people like to throw their dial combos from far away and catch with the second hit? Yeah. But it's, it's good to interrupt right in between. There we go. Let's get some hugs. Yeah, let's get some hugs in there. It's kind of cold, you know. It's December. Oh, let's get this, some more hugs. This was gonna hurt. This was gonna hurt. Ex hugs. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> no Finish. armor for you, buddy. Chucking him down on Finish the ground. Her. You. I'm hey. on fire. He's just. <laughs> just. <laughs> Good old chin this check. Wins. Just, just check him there. Do we got some AMAs going? Why is this guy commentating? I don't know. Round one. <laughs> because I am playing high as well. Good job. Hitting him at the back one. Trading over and over again. And again, just checking him there. Going right into it. Now, down ones don't combo. I believe. Yeah, but it's uh, sort of unexpected. Could be caught releasing block at that point. Yeah. So it's kind of like once a down one is blocked, a lot of players like to you know press buttons back. So it's just one of those things that's good to just kind of keep your player honest or just kind of 
you know, condition them, make them scared that you're crazy enough to do something like that. Good combo. Watch the wake up. Wow, wrecked. It's close. He's not dead yet. Next Keeping uh, him in the corner. Chip. chip. Wow. Simple and down one. Right now, Kiltron's killing it. <laughs> Kiltron is killing it. Round two. I think that's why they call him that. Right. Probably. There you go, Jackie, trying to close the gap here. Love the cancel down there. Okay. Just get back onto the ground. Kill trying to go wow. on a lot of delayed wake-ups here. So uh, I've seen a little bit of a pattern here. Doesn't really... He's not the wake-up type. I mean, uh, right now... Uh-oh. That's why we desync. Beautiful armor per armor there by Killtron. Keeping her in the corner. Yeah, right now T9's not doing too much. Good breaker. Puts Jason right back into the corner. Oh, oh what a breaker, trade breaker, here. Breaker, breaker, no. Nah, he's going to hold on to it. He doesn't need it. Maybe we're going to see. Next wake mix up. up. Wake up armor. No. Wow. Right through it. And that does so much damage just for that so one So much. Hit. And that's it. That's another grab. I mean, has Killtron been... <laughs> Hunt the, the the ratio of success there Jeez. from every single tick throw I don't know. has just been on point, and I think it's because he doesn't has he missed one. He doesn't necessarily go into it right away. He kind of feels out his opponent and sees what are they going to do in what specific situations, and where can I throw in that command oh, grab? There we I go. Want to. There we <laughs> I go. Asked missed if, one. I asked if there was a missed one, and then I think he did it just for me. It wasn't a tick throw though. That's true. We have seen the success off of only tick throws, basically. Let's see. Tick throw. Oh, oh, damn. No chance. Armored right through. Now T9 putting some pressure and gets hit out of the air. Not sure what he was going for there. Kiltron's just doing a good job of just keeping his defense up too. Even when he's in the corner, he doesn't really panic. Never mind. Didn't see that low coming. Oh, beautiful delay wake up Delay wake up again, yeah. I think uh, T9 might not be prepared for a uh, delayed wake up. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the main thing you want to do to against the late wake-up is really just kind of bait it out, wait for it, and know that your opponent has no access to wake-up options once you recognize the delay wake-up. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's hard when you don't have the layers for it, though. Oh, there we go. Good armor. Keeping uh, Kiltron in the corner right now, but puts himself... Okay, never mind. I mean, that was a mix-up in itself. What yeah. side was the throw? I mean, you know... The empty jump going to <laughs> land on. Nice overhead, and oh my god, he's so close to actually getting around, but... I mean, uh -oh. T9 could do this, but uh, sometimes, and Kill trying to set it himself, Jason will take deserved rounds away from opponents. Oh Goes my to the god! Other side. Other side. No Is way. he going to do it? Is he, he going to no, make this comeback? He, he can't can. do it. He can. No, 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 don't do it. Please don't. Oh my god, her neck. Please don't. T9's been working. Oh, oh the read. Wow. The read. The hardest of reads knows that Kiltron loves going for the neutral jump in the corner and just went right into the up rock. It's beautiful yep. by T9. Yeah, but I don't know, man. T9 got the round, but will he get a game? I think he can do it. He can, but... I love oh, the recognition very... there. He waited, understood he... that the armor was on the teleport and just waited for his opportunity. Oh, no. That was beautiful bait. Um, oh, oh, no. Terrorizer? No, that's it. This is over. Not going to be quite enough yet. Armor's up, oh, says, you know what? God. I'm going to swag out on <laughs> you, going. Kiltron. Absolutely vicious. Now we're going to see a fatal. No. No, just the boot. Kiltron's like, I'm going to go for the fatal once I win this tournament. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Jason wins. I'm like cheesing because like I like Jason. All right, Jason's You do cool love character. Jason. Jason's one of my favorite characters. I heard he's lame. What? Did you, you you were playing Jason when they came out. I remember how excited you were I when was. that DLC was announced. And you're like, yes. I, Jason, all right. So the funny thing is they actually put the two characters that I wanted in the different games. In MKX, I wanted Jason Voorhees. Mm -hmm. And then in Injustice 2, I wanted Red Hood. Jason Todd. Jason Todd was great. And both of them You just love out. Jasons. I think I do. If you're a Jason, you're okay in my book. This is for you, buddy. Wherever you're at. How's uh, Capcom Pro Tour going? Uh, I was watching a little bit dude, of the LCQ. I was watching it yeah. yesterday, and it was lagging really bad. The the stream setup? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I was like, I was like, am I lagging? And then I forgot I had gigabit internet, and it's like, I shouldn't. But whatever. 
It's my fault for watching Capcom. Actually, the reason that I was watching it, I was having a hard time going to sleep. So I threw the stream on and... You just keep... Why, why do you have to make fun of other people's games? No! It's not making fun of other people's games. It's like, I fell asleep, like, uh, before that. It used to be Marvel 3. That game used to put me to sleep. What is it, like a lullaby? Kind of. You've never done that before? You've never thrown on a stream and just, like, knocked out? I haven't tried to. I feel like, you, you know, sometimes... It. No, I haven't tried it to specifically fall asleep, but I feel like I don't, sometimes... I didn't try it to specifically fall asleep, but it's, like, it's kind of boring, and it kind of helped that Sage Jam was on it with his, like, voice. He just rocks you to sleep so perfectly? Kind of. It's just, like, you know, so... Such a caring voice, you know? It just puts you at ease. Kind of. I don't know what you're trying to say. What the fuck is Honeybee doing? He's vlogging. He's, so if you guys want to see behind-the-scenes stuff for NEC... Make sure you subscribe to Honeybee's YouTube. He's been doing a lot of work there. Holy shit, we're going to be on YouTube? Yeah. There's going to be people watching? Shit. Cool. It's going to be. Uh, he did a, a similar vlog for Evo. So if you guys want to see all the action, definitely check out his YouTube. Yeah. You don't want to. So coming up on the stream, we have the youngest of guns, Euphoring. Euphoring is here all the way from Colombia. Get the fuck out of here. Yes. Here. So are you cheering for him, like, internally? I'll like, even you, though Biohazard's your friend? They're friends, too. They're friends, too. Everyone's friends with Euphoring. All right, so Euphoring. No, I'm talking about you, specifically. Let me talk about Euphoring and who he is. So a very young player. I want to mm -hmm. say he was I want to say he was 12 or 13 when MKX came out. Mm -hmm. And him and his father were, you know, traveling the world from Colombia. They were in New York City and, you know, seeing the sights. And they were like, oh, where we hear about next level all the time let's go now at this point it was not it, mkx was kind of like you know declining phasing out of, of next level anyway you mm -hmm. know the new games always are very strong at next level then after a few it months takes a couple months yeah yeah it phases out so you know luckily for for some reason me and me and Gur were there Aaron and it was like a six-man bracket that night it wasn't anything big mm. but i see euphoring i see his dad and, um, you know, he was asking me something, and I noticed his accent. I'm like, oh, are you Hispanic? Like, maybe I'll, I'll talk to you in Spanish easier. He goes, oh, we're here from Colombia. We're visiting. You know, my son really loves playing this game. He, he, he watches all the streams. He loves Sonic Fox, big Sonic Fox fan. And I was like, oh, yeah, let, let me play with him. Mm -hmm. and I sit down and play, and I'm like, I'm trying to take it easy. And I'm like, wait a minute, this kid knows his stuff man he knows how to finish his combos was he actually bodying you he, or? he was doing very good yeah definitely it's like i gotta get the truth out of you it's like what is was he beating you uh, a little bit <laughs> he was beating me and you know it's just like you know nick you're really good you really understand um wait is this a match no right, this, no, is, this no. is this button is button check. checks but that's euphoring um you know and he's trying to him and his father are trying to move to, to america, america eventually yeah. okay that'd be pretty cool Wait, where are they thinking though? Are they thinking like tri-state area, yeah. New York? Yeah. Okay. The pro, you know, it's 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 tough to make it sometimes when you don't have family here already, which they right, don't. It really is. Oh, beautiful tick throw there by Euphoring, going for the command grab. Is he gonna do it again? No, this time. Oh, I there love the delay there with that gunslinger stance. It's good mix up. It's good to see that people still remember how to play MKX. God, he just fucking slams him right there on his own combo. I don't know, man. <laughs> A beautiful 1-1-2 one, one, there, continuing the combo, and right now, nice what a block. beat, but no oh, punish no. there. No punish. And those are mid bullets right. there. So beautiful, such a tough thing to get around, especially when you're down to no health. Definitely, and that was actually very controlling from uh, Euphoria. Yes. Very impressive. But right now, Biohazard trying to, trying to work his way in. Yeah, trying to make this comeback here. Beautiful down Kano ball. Uh-oh. Biohazard right now on a perfect. Oh, nice the anti air. It, 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 it was, was behind. behind him. It was he behind. was behind him. It was definitely behind him. Oh, oh no. With a clothesline parry there. So much delay, and it was still very active. So how old is uh, Euphoring? I believe now he's got to be at least 15 or 16 years Jesus old. Jesus Christ. He's, putting grown, he's doing grown man combos, though. He is. He is. I mean, he always was. I mean, he, uh, combos, he always understood. What he didn't really understand until, you know, he dove a little bit more into it with me, he didn't really understand frame data. 
Oh, like, okay. he knew startup, but everything else didn't really make sense to him. That's always the thing. Uh, frame data is definitely not one of the first things that, when you're first getting into a fighting game that you dive into, unless you know about fighting games. Exactly. Yeah, and once you find it out for the first time, he tried oh, to go for the armored command grab! Oh, Checks in the oh, oh, oh! And Biohazard clutches oh it out! God. Armoring right through Super that down close. one! What a close set between these two. Come on. Does he ever run out of hair? He just... I don't know. <laughs> every time he cuts it, just got more, infinite hair. more and more just keeps growing. Like that, that's it's that's the Australian struggle. That's the Australian disease. You get infinite neck hair. In infinite manly beard. Oh, look at what combo. a conversion here. 39%. Beautiful corner combo. 39% and just... And just what? What was that? That scared Censor. me just a little bit. You got censorship, people. I think that's uh, Icy changing something. He's trying to censor this. He's trying to censor this. Look at look how much health he had. Now, even though that was the right move there, very risky thing to do in the corner, especially because you can backdash that last low shot. Yeah, but right now, Yukoring's looking super convincing right now. Yeah, very Especially dominant. after that close first game, this is not looking close low. at all. This is not looking good. The fake out into the low. Last time he went into the overhead. This time Biohazard doesn't know which way is up. Oh, oh fake oh, out oh, into oh. the overhead. He okay. drops it. He's that was it. That was still it. Still in was control. Good block. I don't know, man. You don't want to oh, get Biohazard anything, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Tying it up one to one. What is going on? I'm telling you, this kid is very talented. I was Very like, talented. I was like, you know what? It's just going to be Honeybee and uh, his brother in Grand Finals. I don't know, man. You are about to send him to loser's bracket if he keeps this up. Oh, oh the good read. No punish on the slide, though. The nooch. Oh, my God. I've Still seen losing. this before. Still losing damage. Wow. Back into it. Oh, wow. Avoid gets right under it. Oh. Nice good punish. That was great. I that think that might have been a messed up... Uh, Dash into throw. Could have been. Could have been an input error there. Ends it with the command grab, leaving him on the ground. Love the use of stand 1-1. One, one. Does leave him plus. Oh, he wow. tries to jump out of there, but grabs he grabs him, him right into it. And just guts him for his troubles. Who's fighting back there? Uh, that's Blaze and Katana. Oh, good old Blaze. What a conversion there from the anti-air down one. Euphoria going right into it. He still has stamina to keep this combo going. Doesn't need it. Goes to the forward 2-4. And the chain, you know, the, those those shots hitting as mid really, really up this variation. And those coin toss, those coin trick shots are actually overheads. Keeping him in a standing position. The down two gets him out of the corner, but he slides right back into it. All he needs is just one little hit, but he's just oh getting God. too aggressive here. Pressure. He's still got a bar to work with. Still got a bar to work with. Nice bait. Oh, good patience. I love the back dash there by Biohazard, oh, but he finds himself. Check. He finds himself in a bad position. As soon as you're in that down one range, you know your opponent's going to uh, go for it. It's blazing rain. I was wrong. Oh, yeah. I see the, the, the water around. Checking the call drops. Overhead coin shots. And they can't. This trade's, uh, those trades are actually good for you, Boring. I mean, he's definitely up on health, and he's building a lot of meter. But the down two! I mean, oh, my God. Not only that, but also just the frame advantage on hit or those point shots, so great. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> he was up. waiting! He was waiting! When your opponent's blocking, you've got to give him a nice command throw with your Kano. Oh, oh. no, there we go. I, th I thought that was the Brutal. No, I, uh, I don't think it's unlocked. <laughs> <I've> <laughs> I hear I'm a lot sad. of people complaining about it. Oh, brutality. It's, it's probably not unlocked. I'm sad. Probably not. We need we need a setup that has everything unlocked. We do. Including Leatherface and Triborg. <laughs> Wait, they were just... What is going on? No, someone played a Cyber Sub-Zero before. Yeah, I exactly. Don't All right. Anyway. Maybe they switch profiles when they switch controllers? Possibly. And, you know, that's the thing that's, so, that's a little annoying about you know sometimes people don't jump on the right profiles when they when they sync up yeah i mean then again there's like 18 profiles sometimes on someone's ps4 i think they need to start getting like specific tournament setups that they have like two profiles that's it well i love what what nrs did with 
uh, the tournament mode where it randomizes all the gear and unlocks everything. That's an injustice. So yeah. I feel like they're going to do something like that. If brutalities are coming back in MK11, they need to. They're a... probably going to do some kind of like designated tournament mode versus, you know, because they love the competitive scene so much. Yeah, definitely. They're uh, they're one of the few developers that actually like pays attention to yes. things like that, like oh, yeah. small details. I mean, it, it's all about that stuff. I mean, it, if you just have a company that cares, you will. Yeah, you know, exactly. get something in return. It's a company that actually cares about their tournament scene instead of just, like, the general public. Even though the general public loves these games because I do. I guess I'm part of that group now. I mean, it's Mortal Kombat. Everyone's going to love Mortal Kombat no matter what. Yeah, great but, story, great gameplay. But it's definitely appreciated throughout the fighting game community that, you know, NRS listens. And for that, I just love them. Down two, checking them there, not looking for any kind of stance situation here. The slide oh from my downtown. God, the full screen slide. I think he might have gotten that from you. You did talk about training him. So. Yeah, full screen slides are the best. Yeah, it's no been one your sees favorite. them coming. No one sees them coming. Oh, oh very great anti air. What an anti air there. <laughs> Just slide again. He I'm says, telling you, this is Shades of Dark look, Arma. That's what it is. What's when you're full, after you break her, both players lose all their stamina. So he's like, you know what? You're just going to stand there. Slide. Great block of the overhead there by Biohazard. Euphoria needs to again. make this comeback. He's got two bars. Can he do oh, it? Yes. Whip punish. It's going to be enough. It might be enough. Yep. Oh, oh my what God. a beautiful display of execution by this young gun, Euphoric. I don't have that great execution. A lot of people don't. My execution's like a 3 out of 10 at best. <laughs> Euphoric right now is on 10 out of 10, man. He's definitely at a 10. Wow. Oh, we're going to pop up just because you thought the command grab was coming. The down good, two. Good anti-air. Very good down one right there. Great conversion. A low kick there on the follow-up with down Kano Ball. And those are going to be great trades for you, Foring, especially because he's got the life lead and just trying to lame it out as best as he can. Oh, nice blocks block. it, but doesn't get the punish. Doesn't matter, plus. Ooh, the oh, the bell drops. He, he, away. he, he got away. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> he was going for the fox finish. He was. <laughs> he was going for the fox finish. Fight. All right, now it's 2-2. Two -two. Wow, that was a great block. Textbook punish here by you foreign right now as he takes the lead over Biohazard. Oh my God. And he's got Kano in the corner. Wake up. But oh, it's absolutely brutal there. Just gutting him there with the giant knife. Very good poke. I was surprised that wasn't a down two. A little surprise there too. Euphoria just kind of wow, and he's winning the trades too. Definitely. I like mean, after a trade, he's definitely following up faster than Biohazard is. Wow, what a beat! What a beat! Red like a book there in the corner. Euphoria looking to knock Biohazard right into the loser's bracket. This can't be. This, this is gonna ruin my fantasy bracket. It's gonna ruin a lot of people's fantasy bracket. The down four, Biohazard getting the momentum back. Checking him there, but Euphoria fighting so hard for this corner. Wants to keep him here. Goes with the command grab that he didn't go for in a long time. That was very smart. Definitely didn't go want to go in. Biohazard was definitely looking to check him. Uh-oh, Biohazard fighting back. He does not want to go into losers. He's trying to make this into a third game. Good backdash. Beautiful backdash there. Choking him out. Kneeing him right in the face. Both players in the middle. Oh, my God. The air to air and Biohazard didn't react. He's got two bars. Good delay. Wake up. When oh, Euphoric spends that last bar, wow. however, he's got one more to go. Biohazard playing kind of risky, but he has to. He has to play both to the wall. That was it. Down two. Oh my god, the wake up, and that's it. Wow. And he stood up like a man and looked down upon him and said, shake thy hand. Shake the hand that beat you. And here we go. We're going to a fatal here. Finally, blow for thank blow. You. Shot for shot. Not only did Euphoric upset everyone's fantasy bracket by sending Biohazard into the loser's bracket. He gave us our first on-stream fatality. I just lost so much money, I'm going to have to go hit up the casino right after. That, that's what happened, man. You don't know who Euphoring is. You don't know who Euphoring is. <sighs> Not sure if Biohazard saw it coming. Not sure if he did enough of his homework. I don't know who saw that coming. I mean, he's he played great. Great player, man. I'm telling you. Great player. But Phenomenal. And he's definitely going to be one of those up-and-comers. And not only that, he has... You know, the, the, the international disadvantage, a lot of people say. That's true. Huge I mean, disadvantage. That's true, but uh, these guys aren't from uh, America. That's true. These guys They're aren't from, from America. North America, but South America took over. Hold on. No, no, no. But see, here's where it's different. Where Biohazard and Honeybee are both Canadian, they both practice together ever since Injustice 1. 
and you know they get that offline experience where euphoring it's a little bit tougher for him that's true and coming from sure south america he, uh, is way tougher than coming i'm not from sure Canada. if he has a scene down there i know uh, south america is pretty big on mk but I'm not sure how. Sure, but I don't think they're playing at the level he is. is. Yeah. And the other thing, too, is you have to consider is when you're so young, you don't have as much access to it. And you don't get to travel as, as freely as you want to. Like, yeah. I'm sure that might be an issue. Like, unless his father wants to travel, I'm sure he's not going to send his 15-year-old son off to a tournament. It's like, <laughs> no. all right. Come back when you win some money. <laughs> <laughs> no, dad's definitely in the picture, and his dad has been a great supporter of. Yeah, that's always you know, great. Like having yeah. your parents like back, Love it. back you on like something like this, not like other stuff like Snapchat. That's terrible. That's the, yeah. No parent should support Snapchat. Everyone should just get rid of Snapchat entirely. Uh, no, but Euphoring, you know, his father, a very big supporter of him, taking him to so many different events, mm -hmm. and you know, they're eventually trying to make uh, the move out here to America. Yeah, that'd uh, be great. Uh, I mean, if he's able to like imagine to, what this kid could turn into. Yeah, imagine if he's playing like this and doesn't have like that great of a scene around. His scene might be like online, I guess. No, yeah, he definitely plays online. I've seen him uh, online at a lot of uh, a lot of exhibitions, um, and you yeah, know he's 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 going in, man. He's going yeah, in. I can tell. I mean, kid's got his combos down, his mix-ups. All right, but right now we got Mike Metroid, who we saw earlier doing really good against Biohazard, who just got put into losers. So yes, that's true. And Mike Mike Metroid might be looking for his run back here. I love the, the the cancel there by Scorpion. Didn't actually commit to the teleport, but instead looking for a better position. Very good uh, patience by Mike Metroid, knowing when to check. Wow. Checking those fireballs, trying to get a little bit of full screen presence, possibly trying to bait Scorpion into going for a teleport. But what a beautiful connection there into the into the uh, the spear, leaving him in a standing position. Mike Metroid forced to use that breaker. Nice delay wake up. He didn't do anything after Mike. Um, still waiting <laughs> to see something. Oh, good the bait, takedown. but no, no punish. Forced a breaker. That's wow. very, very risky, man. When you're down to so little health. You don't want to do things like that. I mean, you're giving up your two bars. It, it wasn't a do or die situation. It was round one. He could have held onto that bar and held onto that meter uh, for this to even extend the combo, make it hurt a little bit more, or possibly end the next combo with a breaker. Good throw by Mike. Getting some good. Definitely Dimaggio. position. A little, a uh, way better position here, and especially when you're Johnny Cage, you know you can really put on the hurt with the fisty cups there. Oh, there we go. Uh, kind of had a breaker there. I mean, it is a uh, game point for Mike Metroid right now. Yeah, it is, and you you want to find the momentum. You want to find how you can get that 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 momentum that, to get you that comeback. And I love the opening there with the overhead. Very good low forces him to breaker, and right now he could actually make this comeback. Looking for the down four, doesn't get it. Good run, cancel. Wow, oh, oh, right in front oh, of him. No, but does not combo, and that that's is a punish. A, that is an unsafe takedown, and I don't know if that was going to be enough chip there, but Mike Metroid doesn't care. Got the hit, got the first yeah. win, and he's up 1 0. Got the hit, snuck in the low right there into the fireball. Wow, good interruption, but right now these guys are just interrupting each other. It's like, excuse me, no, excuse me. No, no, it's my turn. No, 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 it's my turn. Oh, 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 beautiful avoidance there of the flip kick. Knocking him down with that hard knockdown of the overhead. You got a trade. Unblockable hellfire. You got to love it. Always something you got to watch out for from Scorpion. Good air to air and forces Mike into a breaker. Wow, whiff punish. Okay. We see you got footsies. Let's go Scorpion with one of the best air normals in the game. The god kick. Oh, nice run the... cancel into the tick throw. Gotta love it wow, and the no. unavoidable hellfire EX there at hellfire. the end. Love it. This is the end. The end? I don't think this is the end of Mike yeah. Metroid. No, it might be the end of Johnny Cage on this uh, on this variation. This we variation. might be seeing some stun double. I would Maybe. love to see it. I think sometimes it's good to change, especially in a two out of three setting or three out of three five. Out of five. Sorry. Mm -hmm. In a three out of five setting, if you're down two games and your variation isn't working on your character, and you do know the other variation. That might be a better change. Because right now, uh... Oh, canceling an up punch. Standing position, no access to wake-up attacks. Goes for wow. the flip kick, makes it with, but Mike Metroid right back into it. Doesn't want to lay off, doesn't want to play lame, but gets thrown for his troubles in the corner. Bad situation. Wow, okay, low into EX. 
Here we go, okay. unbearable pun, getting it going. The Hellfire leaving him in a standing position, continuing sick. the combo. What a beautiful play there. That's kind of sick. <laughs> and Mike getting heckled. Wait, Mike didn't win that. <laughs> Come on, Icy. <laughs> Come on, Icy. Icy's like, Mike won that in my heart. I don't know, man. I saw him getting Hellfired real hard there at the end. Hey, sometimes you got it, man. Can you think of an unbearable pun for Scorpion by the time this set is over? Uh, for just in honor of unbearable puns win. Maybe. Oh, he goes to stunt double. Maybe looking for a little bit more of a full screen presence. Oh, the overhead. Connecting here. Going to the Hellfire, but... He's going ham. Okay, and almost a punish, I guess. No, Meteor and Spear, you definitely can't punish it. It's, it's one of those moves where you can really just throw it out wherever you feel like it. Wow. And he actually punished the stun double. Activation, and... Here we go, Mike Metroid getting a combo. Oh, misses the nut punch for the standing reset. He's been going for that a lot. He's been going for run cancel into tick throw. Where did stun wow. double go? Where did he go? He just disappeared. Actually, he was still doing his stuff while he was getting hit. You know, it's really hard to mimic your, you know, the person you're stunt doubling if they're just getting hit in the face by Scorpion. Not sure where the rest of that punish was by Mike Metroid, but gonna launch him there, leaving him in a standing position with a nut punch, and just hitting him with that unbearable down four. When you get hit by it, it's just so much hit advantage for Johnny Cage. What a great recognition there by Mike Metroid. Wow. And let him activate right in his face and got hit for trying to punish right after. A little too slow. Mix up. Okay, never mind. I love, I love the patience there by Mike Metroid, just kind of waiting a little bit, waiting for him to completely go to the other side and then utilizing that armor. But unbearable pun has a little bit of a meter advantage here. Oh, you don't want to whiff in front of Johnny Cage, especially not when he's got that dizzy knee ready to go. Ooh, not in time. Uh oh. I don't Can't know what's this. happening here. Can't see anything. What is going on? Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. We're playing the censored version. You're not supposed to show certain stuff. I don't think any of that's true. Looking for the down two, and it whips completely. A bearable pun. This is the momentum he's looking for. This is what he needs to secure this game. And just making Mike Metroid block so many things. But Mike oh. Metroid going back <laughs> in. Hey. Drop combo. Big Drop opportunity. It. I think that might be enough. No, no. Not yet. Well, that'll be enough. I mean, when you have the run mechanic... And really just run up and meaty anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow, first hit off of raw activation. Yeah, I feel like Mike Metroid kind of has a feel on, on an unbearable pun. Being a little bit more passive, just kind of waiting for him to do his own thing. So he knows, and, and that's possibly why he switched over to stunt double. Uh, you know, just to do more things at, at full screen. I think so. It might be that uh, also unbearable pun might be less familiar with stunt double. I mean, hey, why not? If you if you have a solid secondary variation, like you gotta test it out, especially yeah, in a three right out of five this, setting. Was that a flawless? That flawless. Was a flawless. Wow. Okay. The flawless victory here by Mike Metroid, trying to make a statement here, but unbearable pun is still in it. What a conversion from the down two! This one's gonna hurt so much. Leave him in the corner. Hard knockdown or semi hard knockdown. Yeah, I think uh, unbearable pun might have lost his flame in this match. There you go. Uh, that's good <laughs> enough. I mean, on such yeah. short notice. I need, I need, uh, I need Batman prep time. All right. All right. We'll we'll go back to that. Looking for the down three there. Great teleport by Unbearable Pun. Oh, beautiful run cancel. Are we gonna see a spear in a standing situation? Can he chip him out for the rest of this? Oh, oh, oh that was smart. 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 Again. Not many things you can do without risking, you know, losing that match. And what's so crazy is that both of these players, both of these characters leave you at the end of their combos in a standing position. So they're kind of just kind of giving each other the taste of their own medicine. Yeah. It's like, am I going high, low, or throw? Those are the best ones. High, low, or throw? High, low, or throw. That's I'm the mix up there. It's I'm not 50-50. I'm glad that they don't have command grabs, though. Because if they did, that'd be really dangerous. <laughs> it would be. It would be almost unbearable. Wow. Chucking it there. The beater bird teleport. Not sure if you recognized it or just had the beautiful assumption and read oh my the God. EX here. 
That was a whiff punish. I'm not sure if it was intentional, maybe just trying to get plus frames. I mean, like I said, you can just throw that move out. You literally can just throw that move out. Well, now Unbearable Pun's got meter. What is he going to do with it? Oh, God. The delay wake up. Oh, no. Elbow the drop. Elbow. Give him the... Good old elbow drop. When are they going to start releasing MK11 roster? Probably. Uh, we're I'll actually going to do it at the end of this stream. We're no, doing we're it at the no. <laughs> I thought we were going to reveal MK12 at the end of the stream. Dude, that oh. would actually be pretty sick. Like, MK11 comes out mm -hmm. in uh, April, and then MK12 comes out as DLC in December. No, MK12 will just be a mobile only game. There you go. There so you everyone go. knows the future of esports is in mobile, mobile gaming. Yeah, Diablo's everyone doing it. Knows. You yeah. have phones, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> we all got phones, right? I yes. Who doesn't have a phone? You don't need to buy a PlayStation yeah. anymore. I got a Moto Razor V2. That I, works, got a, right? I think I still have a Nokia. Okay. Oh, an unbearable pun! Off to a great start here. Jesus Christ, what happened? We're I don't know. He's phone game. He just died. He got the first hit and he killed Mike Metroid. Nut punch. Uh -oh. Checking him with a Speaking down four. Head, somebody's still alive. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh, oh, that, <laughs> oh, that hurts. hurts. Down four. Max range here. And Mike Metroid turning it completely around. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that was a great round for a dead guy. Uh, Commentator's curse guy. I absolutely did that to him. I feel really bad. You definitely did. He was feeling himself. He's like, yeah, you know what? I am fucking him up, right? Why not, man? Now punch, standing position. What's going to be the mix up? The overhead. Checking him with the down three. Down the four. It catches him jumping back. The spear. The Does whip it punish. No whiff. no whiff punish. Come on. Check what are you him. doing? Got to watch out for that oh last God. little Mike, low. Mike Metroid's. No, he's got this. This is it. Are you sure? It's are body you sure? Back. Oh. Body back, yeah. Pack it up. Pack it up. No fatality. Give us something. There, there, we, there go. we go. Yeah. Leave uh. it on the screen. I want to see it. Good. Splitting right through Here's there. Here's Mikey. Here's Johnny. <laughs> I absolutely love that. A nice little nod to one of my favorite movies, The Shining. Shining was a great movie. Slow burn, but I think a very, very well done movie. Definitely. Yeah, that was actually kind of crazy. Like, uh, Mike, it was kind of like too close to call, and then out of nowhere, was he set. was like, you know what? This has been a great set, sir but you're going home. I'm going to turn my monitor on. I'm going to stop laying down. <laughs> you remember that? I've been, yeah, yes. old Xbox Live days. It's like, wow, you, you got, got lucky. You I'm got still lucky. laying down in bed. It's like, all right, you know what? I'm going to turn my monitor on now. <laughs> so dumb. That was great. Uh, characters that we want. Who do you want in MK? Like MK11. Like you're one character that you can choose and they'll be like, yeah, we'll put it in. Sorry, but Chelsea's going through. Uh-oh. All right, so who do you want? Who do I want? Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Cybot. Give me one second. Isaac, can we – can you cut off me just first? All right, so we'll continue with me even though everybody hates me. <laughs> All right, so – I don't have extremely strong feelings about Mortal Kombat characters. I like the classic ones, not like somebody who's in the background of Sub-Zero's dream sequence and, <laughs> you know. Oh, in uh, Mortal Kombat mythologies or something? <laughs> whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't need those. I um, if I had a pick, I kind of want like a crazy Night Wolf. Okay, like a, I like, like a Night new Wolf. Night Wolf. All night right. Wolf is all right. Or Striker. Striker. Striker doesn't get enough love. He could... Yeah, Striker. Let's buff him up and put him Actually, in the game. Actually, I don't know. Guns are kind of controversial right now. <laughs> I don't know Maybe he could get a taser. Uh, that'd be kind of whack. He and had some, the baton. Some tear gas. He had the baton. I don't know if they're going to do variations, though. He has a grenade. <laughs> what if they don't do variations, though? Uh, I don't know. don't know. It's like I'm picking, like, all the, all the ugly characters that got no love in the other games. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Kano will um. be NPC. <laughs> Meat. Yeah, there's like a bunch of like troll characters that they put. Um, I don't know, maybe Fujin. I I don't know who that is. God damn it! What the? <laughs> this is Combat Network. We, we, you got six like World Combat Three earlier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. I 
NPCs. Um, or, I mean, Cabal, let's not make him broken, but... Yeah, I, let's I, not I give him, Cabal like, the, the crazy day. run cancels that he had in MK9. Right. We, we don't need that. But yeah. Cabal was great. Even though, uh, even though Cabal was broken in MK9, he was actually one of my favorite characters to watch. Like, watching Rio and, like, those guys play... All right, here we go. We got Ragnarok, TYR, Tier versus Station. <laughs> That's kind of weird, like, report to your station, Station. Report to your station, Station. I think he's going to change it for MK11. I don't Is he going to be PlayStation? He's going to be PlayStation. No, no. It's no, like, if it you're up next, yo, Ragnarok, you got a PlayStation. He's like, yeah, I know I got a PlayStation. Wow. That's smart. No, no, you got a PlayStation. So he, he, his, his technique is just to confuse his opponent. From and the get-go. And he won't show up to his station at all. That's good. That's fine. The station That's really station. messed up. You play station on PlayStation 4. I hate you. <laughs> so... So Ragnarok going with Tremor. Really believes in this character and especially believes in uh, this this Aftershock variation. I actually like uh, Tremor a lot. He was one of the characters that was like, oh, we should put Tremor in. I was like, don't put him in. And then they put him in. And I'm like, damn, he is actually pretty high. I, I think what's what's really cool is when you put in a character in this day and age into an MK, like one that was, you know, a ninja clone, sort mm -hmm. of, so to speak. And you give them their own, like, character, yeah. their own persona. Yeah, exactly. You know, they develop their own identity. You give them access to so many different moves. I mean, it's just such a refreshing take rather than seeing, like, you know, Shoto clones. No, that's exactly what I thought it was going to be. I was like, no, dude, they're going to just make him, like, a ninja clone. He's going to be whack. And then they put him in, and... Have you ever played this game with, like, really loud bass? And you just hear him uh, do the unblockable on the ground? <laughs> do, 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 do. That, that's so sick. It's great. That's actually one of the things that I like the most about uh, MK. Is... Yeah, you hear that? You hear that. Just the, just the bass. The bass on this game is probably the best in any other game. Honeybee is going nuts over here. I, I, so wherever you are in the world, it doesn't matter... As long as you're a Devorah player with full screen, Honeybee's going to be there screaming, jump X-Ray, jump X-Ray. <laughs> that's exactly what happened here. That's what he does. That's uh, that's the Honeybee. That is that is the Honeybee. Okay, let's see some Triborg. Got some Sextor. 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 All right, NPC predictions. What prediction? Any? NPC. NPC predictions. Mm. Non playable character? Yeah. yeah. Non playable characters. I feel like. Baraka? You think they're just never gonna bring Baraka back into the game? It's just done? Um, at this point, I guess Fujin. I think they'll put Fujin in the game. A lot of people want Fujin. I want Fujin. He's, he's the God of Wind. Like, you, yeah, you gotta like, put him in the I'm game. I'm kind of getting tired of God of Thunder already. But Raiden's, like, you know, a staple whenever you think of Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ed Boon actually recently tweeted out that to this day. Nobody's figured out what he says. No one's figured out. I think you figured it out. I think you got it, like, spot on, like, on the money. I hope we get a Raiden player soon. Uh, Do you think Devora thinks that Sector is. Never mind. <laughs> going for a now Devora very very dangerous in the corner she has so many things that can get around armor and and the ability and access to overheads and lows just kind of puts you in a cycle you just never ever get out and, and station just taking advantage of yeah. this and the messed up part about it is uh she's got access to cancels like so yes and she can cancel into another hit or a throw. Yeah. So, so you, those you, things become, like, super annoying. Now, although it is it is a little tough in MK to hit confirm strings, it's not tough or not as tough to, to hit confirm those those run cancels. So as soon as you see it hit, you run cancel, keep attacking. You see it's blocked, you have other options. Yeah, and then like she's, got, she's got good uh, delayed wake up options, too. It's like you delay wake up, you don't get hit by this, but I get a mix up after, and we got a brutal... 
feed my children as he just stabs Sector right through the face. Oil and blood everywhere. <laughs> and Good Rag. old oil blood. That Castro GTX is uh, all over the place right now. Everywhere, man. You gotta watch out. That's a tripping hazard. Right there on the pit, you're gonna fall right into that. That's thing. true. You're gonna fall right <laughs> into that bad boy. It's like you're gonna pop off after you win and then just slip and fall into the pit. There you go. And then tie up the set. One on one. <laughs> Alright, okay. so Rag going to uh, Ermac. So I'm playing a little bit of Ermac before. And uh, I'm not sure if this is. Is this a situation where. This is actually a doable man, option, or are you just like, man, I'm all out of ideas? It kind of might be a little bit of both. The station's looking great, man. I mean, station's been looking like he never stopped playing. Like, he's like, what's Injustice? No, station's been doing his thing in Injustice. He's no, had, I know, but he's like. He's had some great scalps. No, but I mean, the way he's playing the way right he's playing, now. Yeah, very good. Yeah, this, this is. It's like Ninja Killer 2.0 right here. <laughs> station. Again, just checking them there over and over again. It's such a great forward advancing normal there by Devora. A really great way to dictate uh, the neutral. Oh, he's trying to get over. that. He tried. He was uh, very aware of it, but uh, still didn't get the trade in his favor. I still get kind of creeped out by how uh, Ermac looks in this suit while, while he's floating around like that. It's just kind of like dangling. Yeah. I get creeped out by, by the voice where you hear all the, the souls that are yeah. trapped in him. So you hear multiple voices. We are men. You are men. There you go. Great ground pound there by uh, Ragnarok. Tossing station, really getting a feel for when he's he wants playing, to get aggressive. He's actually playing better with this character than he was with uh, Sector, actually. So what was Ragnarok just sandbagging? He's like, oh, whatever. It's just station. He doesn't deserve my air Mac. And then, you know, when you play station, you got to figure a lot of stuff out. There you go. Look how to turn it on. No buttons. Just, just you touch, gotta know just when touch to, things. What you gotta know that? when to turn it on and turn it off. Versus go. PlayStation. Station moving him a little bit closer. This one's gonna hurt so much. Not sure if he's gonna build enough breaker or enough to get the breaker. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. Nowhere near it. Gets oh, the back the row. Throw. Keep it up in the corner. And this is chip situation. Oh, I want to wow, see a fatal. Crazy. I want to see a fatal. No. Oh no. Don't mess it up. Yes. Yes, he got it. You have now played PlayStation. Or did the PlayStation play you? That's true. I played them. Just he love played the them sounds. at the station. I love hearing like the every little piece of guts just like being crushed and, and the sound it makes. You're, you're going to need to see the doctor about that. <laughs> Probably. Yes, station okay. does move on. Over Ragnarok, very convincing fashion. 3-0. It was clean. I, well, that kind was of. clean, man. Kind of. That was clean. Like kind of. I mean, he was playing better with Ermac, but it wasn't enough. I think PlayStation was on a roll. Stop calling him PlayStation. <laughs> but they're playing on a PlayStation. They're playing on a PlayStation. I'm Station. What if he gets picked up by like an esports team called Play, like Play Punk, Play yeah. Sonic Fox? Play and station. station. And, those, and then you think they'll get like a cease and desist? Probably from Sony. Yeah. Just like not. Sony's it gonna off. be like, stop doing this. You guys are childish. Give me money. Give me money. <laughs> stop with this fake esports stuff. Yes, I'll take one. <laughs> give me a beer. Give me another beer. No, give me Stone Cold it. Don't stone cold anything. Uh, shout out to Red Bull, the shout yellow Bull. edition. Thank you, yellow mini edition. They actually uh, started making these and the blueberry smaller. They made them smaller? Oh, they only came in the bigger cans. They only came in the 12 ounce can. Now they are in the 8.4 ounce cans. Is Was this the original Red Bull size can? Yeah, the original Red Bull is still this size. And then like the other energy drinks came out and they're like massive and then Red Bull's like, why don't we make big ones? They still don't make as big as the other ones. They do have like 24 ounce ones. But Monster has like 36. Shh, you can't say that on the stream. Monster's bad. Drink Red Bull. Drink this. It, ha it has stuff. I can't even. This is tropical. And yeah. um, it tells you there it's artificially flavored. So they're not trying to lie to you like they were with their original campaign. Red Bull gives you wings. Did you not hear about this? Oh, the guy sued because they didn't give him wings? It was a class action lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> so now when you see those Red Bull commercials, they spell wings with three eyes. Red Bull gives you wings like, 
What if you're a bar that serves wings, but you spell it with three eyes? Can you sue Red Bull? Uh, not if you bade your wings spelled with three eyes after those commercials came out. So unless you can go well, back before. in time. No, you made it before. You think there's some bar somewhere. Where that some had probably. They're probably getting screwed over. Some guy keeps going in be. there. Well, I had a Red Bull, and it said it will give me wings. Fight. I don't have wings, man. Give me those spicy wings. All right, so we got Honey Bee versus Sunio. Okay. Yeah, we got Honey Bee versus Sunio. Now, Sunio, you guys might recognize from uh, the good old Injustice Pro series days. Uh, you I know, do. Re really making a name for himself with his green arrow and cyborg and just all around lame gameplay. Now, whoa, lame whoa, whoa. is not. Hold on. Let me get rid of this misconception. Lame is not a bad term when it comes to fighting games. All it means is that you're patient. There you go. Let's use that instead. Let's use patient. All right. Should I just say patient then? Nothing else? Nah, you could say lame. Lame is like a nice throwback to like what people always said like back in the day. No, it's like turtle style. Play? No, people said turtle style. He's turtling. He's turtling, but no one said turtle style unless they were like talking about the Ninja Turtles. No, you said turtle style and rush down. That must be before my time then. You must be a real OG. Shut up. I'm not that old. All right, but right now. definitely younger than me. Mournful so. Katana. Now, Katana might look a little familiar. She's got a lot of Jade-esque moves as she's mournful for her dead Adenian sister. You like that jade, that jade kick, the jade charge there? Yeah, the jade charge <laughs> didn't work right there because Honeybee baited that out. Round Just waited. Uh, Honeybee's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's the original Devora. Yes, Honeybee getting securing third place at the first Evo for MKX with Devora, and uh, also taking uh, uh, Toryuken. Toryuken, definitely. Yeah, Toryuken was like the first big MKX tournament, and he won it over PPJ, who was also using Devora. Yep, I remember that. It was the lamest grand... No, I'm kidding. It was actually a good grand final. It, it was a really great set, but, you know, Honeybee clutched it out in his hometown. Yep. It was good because he had uh, the whole backing of Canada. Mm -hmm. It's tough. It, it's tough to invade. I couldn't be an invader. You can't be an American, you mean? No, definitely not the American way. But well, hold on. There wow, we go. Sunio, Open him up there okay. with the overhead. Speaking of invaders, Honeybee is invading here. So Sunio's trying to protect us. That's right. That's right. If you're American, you're going to want Sunio to win this next game. The Honeybee chucking him in the corner and just bullying him with his normals. Good delay wake up. But Honeybee with the perfect strings. Wow, good check. Here we go. EX. Breaker. Get him off. He stop the momentum. He, yeah. he definitely didn't want that momentum to start because we did see what Sunio did last round. So Now, again, Sunio going with a, not only a character that can you know have all this full screen presence, but a lot of people say the mournful uh, variation is a lot lamer than the other ones. It a lot more like projectiles. Wow, yeah. and the conversion. Breaker again. I'm surprised he actually got uh, that much meter back already. Oh, oh, just no. running in there. Just as I said that. Oh, I love the, the, the delay there by uh, Sunio, just keeping himself in the air. Wants to be away from the, wow. the swarm. That was a great delay on the EX. Oh, couldn't get the conversion off of that. Wow, and the drop kick. The drop kick, neutral jump, goes right into the fan stance. And Honeybee, you guys can see it because we didn't change the pop-off cam, but he just adjusted his monitor. He's changed it a little bit. He says, you know what, I'm not seeing this right. He Does took he out his Tokido tape. Tokido tape with the ruler, yeah. yep. So now Honeybee's ready to go. Wow. Burns the EX and Honeybee right now sitting on two bars. Yeah, gets that first hit, gets the bonus meter there. Chucks the projectiles. And just backing off. Now that's so, what's so scary about this game is how much stamina is drained when you backdash. You lose half of your stamina bar. So backdashing isn't always gonna be the greatest option. Yeah, but Sunio's doing a pretty good job because he's backdashing, but he's trying to cover himself with the projectile. And very good EX conversion. I love those down two conversions. Not the easiest thing to do in the world, but Sunio, an execution monster right now. Ooh, very good check from Honeybee. And I love wow, the conversion the there, but he wakes up. Breaker, but he's still still got a bar. But right now, Sunio's just playing some good old uh, 
He's just chucking that plasma. Just chucking plasma. There you go. Chucking, chucking that, that plasma. That plasma bleed. Whoa! The oh high getting right under it, and Honeybee no looking way. for the momentum, no. looking to make this Don't comeback. Do it. Don't he drops do it. the combo. Oh, he dropped it. But he's still got the pressure. The overhead. No way. He's no, he's not got. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have breaker. That's he it. does not have a breaker. And Honeybee with that miraculous oh comeback. My God. All from ducking that Just one ducking high one shot. That was great. Is that still called the shadow kick? Johnny Cage is called the shadow kick. Let's call that one the shadow yeah, kick. Yeah, she's got a shadow kick. Very good blocks. Again. Sunio, that was great um, presence of mind. Knowing that Honeybee was actually going to be aggressive right after that exchange. Backdash and still punish. Check him there. Oh, my God. And Let's shadow, go shadow kick. kicks. Let's go, man. A great thing to throw out in the neutral, except when shadow you lose the good. entire round because of it. <laughs> it's great I mean, when it hits. Great. <laughs> super great when it hits. When it whiffs, uh, kind of sucks. It's like when somebody does a fireball and you jump in on them. Now, Katana has one of the strangest down fours in the game. She like kicks behind her, and I don't think it's a. I don't think it's that great, even when it hits. Oh. Wow! Oh, drops it. And Honeybee's got full bar here, and Honeybee loves ending games with X-Ray. But, but Sunio not giving. He's still holding on to it. Still three bars. We're gonna see if Sunio can't get good enough damage. Fast enough, Honeybee's definitely going to use it later on. Well, what Honeybee, what Honeybee loves doing is he loves, you know, just getting you to that range where X-Ray is going to kill you and you don't have an opportunity to go for a breaker at all. Yeah. Oh, he uses yes. the armor goes right through it. I heard that wake up or I heard that armor move was absolutely useless, but Honeybee put it into great use here. He's probably one of those down players that just says it doesn't work, but it does. Yeah. I mean, Injustice, MKX, same thing. The same thing. Yeah. Downplay City everywhere. Swiping him there, leaving him. And right now, Sunio. Is that guaranteed? <laughs> I don't know. I guess it is. It feels oh like it god. is. Oh my god! Wow, Uses that the was breaker. a great read. Uses the breaker. Both players have no stamina at all. All right, now they go. Oh, he ducked again. He ducked again. He he just said, you know, I don't want oh it. There god. Put the neutral jump punch. Get out of here. I need an explanation. That I Why need an explanation. Hit? All right, which one of you guys tested this? I know there's got to be a tester in this room. Can we get a replay? Can we get? Oh, this is. We get instant replay. No, we can't get a replay. No, no. All right, someone clip that. Switch, clip it. The neutral jump punch just hit, hit from behind. right behind her. We need to slow down. We need to enhance. We need to see all that overhead. Beautiful stuff there by Sunio. Didn't really bust it out a lot in this in this set. Uh, I'm calling the CIA on that one. Is the score right? Is this 2-0 Sunio? No, I, I thought Honeybee won the first one. No? No, he didn't. <laughs> this is 2 0 Sunio. It's, it's so, the, the rounds are just so they're impactful. Intense. Yeah, they're so wow. intense. Wow, it went right through him. Okay. Shadow Kick's not working out too great, but I don't know. Sunio's still being very, very commanding in this. He's ruining my bracket, too. My fantasy bracket is just ruined. It was, it was Honeybee and Biohazard. Biohazard and yeah. uh, winners and grand finals. That's it. Who got third? Um, maybe KP. There you go. So Honeybee, Biohazard, KP, my fantasy bracket. And it uh, looks like all this is going to ruins here. Hold on. Honeybee can make this comeback if he gets him close to it, 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 He's in x-ray territory. If he can connect, the scary thing is oh you don't God. have any hits for the armor. Yeah, you can't take any hits for the armor. And it would have killed him, and he would have wasted three bars. Yeah. So right but now, he could have comboed into it. Sunio on set point. He's about to go into winner's finals, which I didn't think he was going to make it, but... He's shutting me up right now. Hold on, Honeybee. This is this is a, 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 a com this is a commander brother here. No life lead is ever secure when you're going up against Honeybee or Biohazard. That is true. What a trade there, Devora with that pesky down three. That little nice claw just coming out, a and punish. that's gonna be a huge punish. Now oh, he no, he drops, drops it. it. Days of not practicing before coming. That's it, man. You got to practice. You got to get your combos down. You got to get your punishes down, You never down, know man. who's actually still playing the game. That's the problem. <laughs> man, I don't even play this game. <laughs> that's, the, that's the good excuse when you win. There you go. I don't even, no, that, you, that only comes out if you lose. No. Only comes out if you lose. No. Have, you've never heard it when you win? I don't even play this game. No. I've done it. You're a bad person. Oh, it goes wow. over to the other side. You're not wrong about that, but right now the worst person is Sunio, and he just wow, that was say goodbye, goodbye to your fantasy bracket. It is done. It is over. It's destroyed. It's I'm destroyed. Gonna, Honeybee falling to lose his bracket I'm, along with his brother. Dude, I'm just gonna throw money at Sunio. There you go. 
Hey man, it's not a bad bet. Not a bad bet. Sudi and, and I, I love I love that it matches his his style of play so well and that very specific variation. Yeah. And it, it's almost like cyborg esque the way he just recovers so quickly or the way she recovers so quickly after hitting the ground. And it's um you know it's one of those things where you take away the clear punish away from someone, and a lot of people need that. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta just make a read. You gotta commit to something. That's definitely what you have to do against Mournful Katana. And it's definitely hard to do that because he couldn't find a way in. Like, Sunio was playing great spacing, great just chucking that plasma, man. Chucking that plasma. <laughs> Somebody it? said the Canadian erasure is real. It's like right now... The they Canadian get what? Erasure. Wow. So they're both... Uh, that's it. They're both in losers right now, man. They that, are. That ruined my fantasy bracket. It's like, you know what? If my fantasy bracket was flipped upside down, then it would work. There you go. But I mean, it, it, it takes just as much effort to pick winners than it does to pick losers. That's so. true. Uh, I'm actually... <laughs> I, I wanna I wanna make fun of Gur right now because he did not enter this. Gur did not want this smoke. He 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 didn't want anything. Gur, did you want this smoke? Why are you so afraid? Were you of afraid to lose? MKX? You were, you were afraid to lose. That's why you didn't enter, right? Oh, wow. oh because now, I don't play this now game. he doesn't play MK. I don't even really like this game. Like, so I mean, Gur is gonna die, an old man just continuing to play Injustice Two because wait, didn't you just get invited to the MK Eleven? Oh, but you don't play Mortal Kombat. Hold on, guys. Wow. We're, we're putting wow. we're putting wow. Gur on okay. blast for not supporting this tournament because we would have had more great matches. We would have. Gur. But apparently, Gur doesn't play this game. He but, doesn't. He but doesn't. he plays Mortal Kombat 11. That's what he's saying. <sighs> I'm a little. I'm a little. I'm kind a little upset. upset. I mean, kind of especially upset. because Gur's. I feel like Gur's gameplay has developed a lot over and, the years. Yeah. And I feel like if he went back to MK, he could see a lot of the stuff that he was doing wrong, uh, you know, moments. Everyone does say that, you know, oh, MK, you just go in, mix, whatever. But it, that's not really the case. But I feel like now with, with Gur evolved, that yeah. he could go back and, and understand the mindset to be better at this game. But we're never going to know because he's a coward. Wow. And speaking of cowards, we got some Aaron Black versus Tanya. And this is just a button check here. Euphoring the young gun all the way from Columbia here to make it as deep into this bracket as possible. I'm pretty sure he's just going for the straight up win. I mean, who is going to stop I, this I kid? I think so because um, he played really impressively versus Biohazard. Knocked Beat him. Right him. What, was the, what was the score? 3-1? I believe it was 3-1 uh, or 3-2. It was close. It was close, but it was still very convincing. Yeah. But um, and he did get the uh, if, if I remember right, he did get a flawless in that set, or was that the set afterwards? Uh, was that Mike Metroid versus? I think that was Mike Metroid. Never mind. Before that was Mike Metroid. He definitely got a flawless. I remember that because it was like, wow, Mike can get flawless in tournament and then lose. Round one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mingle jet. Wow. All right, clip that clip and then that explain. One. Clip it. Why? I want it. Now, this is very scary stuff. There, leaving him in a standing position. And Euphoring turning the tables, and that has to be one of the best interactables in this game. So quick, and especially when you put on that hit of armor, no one's going to see it coming. Very good delay. Wake up. The dive kicks. All right, you know what? I like dive kick characters, so I'm going for Mingle Jester on this one. Hey, Pyromancer Tanya chucking out that fire. So much guaranteed chip damage when she laces you with that explosive, uh, the explosive purple stuff. Yep. It's that purple stuff. That purple stuff. That's what Dave Chappelle was talking about. Very explosive. Oh, beautiful standing one. Recognition there. Caltrops. Keeping her on there. Look at that Look life at that damage. Chip. It's going away. Look at that chip. And opens him up with the overhead. All right, this is a lot better than the first round. A little bit of a drop Good there delay, at the wake end. Up. Nice command grab. Not going to meter burn it to enhance the damage. Instead, just trying to go in there looking for the win. No need to do it here. Looking for the neutral jump there. Wow, and gets wake up hit stance. Again. No, no, no. He didn't want wake up stance oh, and no. what a great anticipation there. He's down the purple, purple stuff. Purple stuff. Purple EX purple stuff. Wow. Uh what? dive kick? Foot dive? Is what? that a dive kick or a foot dive? But what just happened? Euphoring was winning so convincingly and he was at least up 60%. When you when you take your hand off the wheel when you're playing this game, Leatherface. things can go wrong uh, all right, so never mind. fast. Never mind. Leatherface? I love Leatherface. 
This is my second character that I wanted, and he just picked him. Leatherface is hype. I don't care what you guys are thinking. There you Leatherface go. Is I got hype. two people saying he's hype. One guy says no. Huh? Round. Fucking Leatherface is hype, though. You never saw Texas Chainsaw Man? Never why mind. Are you, why are you yelling at everybody? Oh, dousing the purple stuff. Never mind. He's got some purple stuff on him. Hold on. Euphoric does have a lot of meter here in this situation, so he's got options for enhanced moves, and he's got an option to break a combo. There oh, we go. Here we go. Start it off. Meter burn it. Let's keep going. What's going to be the go. combo? Neutral jump two. Ground combo. Yep, ground him. Get him. Oh, nice the unblockable. unblockable. I'm telling you, Leatherface is hype. Look at that shit. Uh. Come on. How can you not get hyped for the guy with the chainsaw? Unblockable again! EX! You, thank you. Just end it. Just, this is a movie. <laughs> and Tanya's the victim. Tanya's definitely the victim. Wow. Chucking the interactables. Gotta love, love it! Bait. What a beautiful bait no there! No conversion, but still, great bait. He's doing EX purple stuff. It's not working. Check Leatherface does not like the purple stuff. Oh, nice block. No punish. Let's go. No punish, but does get the momentum here. But Tanya kind of opening herself up there. Throws him into the corner. Great corner position here by Tanya. And Jester, wow, again. Interrupts. Yeah, okay. just, just interrupts it. Wants to react. There we Doesn't go. Anything to do with burn. We're going to meet her burn. Are we going to break her? Yes, yeah, we are. Yeah, he has to. Oh, let's go. Just let's go, go after him. This is a serial killer. Check that plasma. Oh, let's go. Got to check that plasma. Oh my god, got him out of the air, the conversion, no breaker, he is dead, he is kill him, just kill him. Just kill him, kill him. get a he's chip dead. him out. He's dead, Oh my god, I love this character. Alright, we got any fans out there now? Well, we got fans. still a continued fan. Okay, we got a new fan, Gurr's a fan of Leatherface now. He love. he's always been a fan. Yeah, sure. Gurr sure, has a great Leatherface. No, he's on the bandwagon right now, he's like, damn, that was hype. He's like, I think I kind of play this game now. He's like, I remember playing this game. Wait, didn't you tell me that Gur uh, said he found some Leatherface stuff? Yes, that was patched out of PS4 but not Xbox, and you came to the tournament, and you're <laughs> like, nothing's working. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> like, they patched that out, bro. <laughs> oh, good old Gur. Good old Gur. Didn't do his research back then. No patch notes. Oh, no. Leatherface is losing. I'm not enjoying this. You love this. No, because Look, the killer man. is supposed to kill in a killing movie. I don't care, man. I I, I love fighting games, and I love seeing anyone just adapt on I the do fly like seeing in that situation. Yeah. Adjustments are what make fighting games fun. Yeah. Nobody enjoys the 3 0 unless the other person was talking smack. That hurts so much thanks that to that so purple stuff, but he jumps over to the side, hit confirming into the rest of this combo. Oh, let's go. We're going to see some resets. Uh, uh, uh. Unblockable. Oh, oh the fake out. Okay, I got hit. I got hit. I got hit. Purple I got stuff. hit. That, that mix-up was sick. I got hit. You got that one, bro. <laughs> oh, no. You What's flying? going on? He's got so much oh meter my here. God. Dies with so many what? resources. He had full x-ray and didn't use any of it. That was all chip. Like, that was more than the chips that are in, a, like, one of those large bags. Because you only get 50% of those. Right? Lays. There you go. Gurr just exposed him. Lays for days. Now, Euphoric switching back to Aaron Black. And he's going to stick with the same variation. Do you think that's a good choice, though? Um, I don't know. I feel like Jester really understands Aaron Black. And I don't that's think That's what this I is felt good, in the yeah. first match. Like, complete and that's why control. he made the switch to Leatherface. But yeah. I guess uh, I, I think he ran. I think he ran out of gimmicks with Leatherface. Probably. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Leatherface. Leatherface is solid, all right? Not gimmicks. I mean more like I know, I know. strategies, like what to do. And and I feel like he saw Jester adapting on the fly. And Jester he adapted felt, really quick. I thought yeah. it would have taken him maybe two games to adapt, but it was a All lot faster. Was one game. Beautiful oh, conversion. conversion there by you for Oh, my God. How dare you. Oh, finishes the string right into that gunshot. The trick shot leaving you in such a great position after it hits. Oh, she's not having it. Meter burns. Right through it. That's nice. Gonna be chip out. Great chip. Guaranteed standing two after the setup, after the coin yeah, trick shot. Mad advantage. So mad advantage. advantage. Mad advantage slash mad advantageous. Slash mad mad. Mad no. mad. Mad ad. 
<laughs> Great recognition there. I believe that was an overhead. Yep. Wow, good instant air. That was not a great trade. Oh my god, the purple stuff makes it hurt yeah. so bad. That was a great instant air. And U4 and getting really aggressive here. I mean, this Aaron Black does I have mean, full screen options, but I feel like he needs to go in on this on He kind of has to because uh, if he does start taking trades from Tanya, Tanya oh, this hurts. Oh my god, oh, this hurts. so much damage. Oh, so much this damage. hurts. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. oh my god. You're that boring. He turned it around. He turned it around. He shut me up. I thought that Leatherface, I thought the mistake was leaving Leatherface, but he's definitely got some gunshots in there. He does. And we're going to game five. Oh. Oh, get the meter. Okay. Chuck Armored him. purple stuff. Purple stuff's so good, man. You really got to know oh. it's coming. Oh, go conversion. around it. Oh, this is not good. Block and the punish. So much damage. Close enough to the corner to make sure this oh hurts. Kill drops. Drops. Over to the other side. Oh my god. And Jester looking oh, Wow. So, wow. Jester looking so desperately for the command grab, and Euphoring is all over it. He understands that that's what he's afraid of. He's conditioned oh, him no. to be stuff. afraid of it. Purple stuff, and he's got bar. He's got two bars. Oh, the block. No punish. That's going to oh, be a on the low. Oh, he goes to the throw. So smart. So he, smart. He saw he had the breaker. He knew he ready had breaker. He was like, you know what? Throw. That not was great. only that, but also great corner position. Well, not anymore. No, never mind. You know, things happen so fast in this game. You really lose track of it. Go to the other side. And back to back. Stuff, back stuff. to the corner. Oh! The slide catches him off the teleport. Can we talk What's that? Up? Can we call that a read? Can we call that the read of the I, century? I don't know. I don't know. True too, blocks, right? Too close to call. Oh, runs right into that flame. Luckily, didn't he wasn't doused Lucky with he purple stuff. Dead. He didn't have the purple stuff on him. Good breaker. I thought oh, he was going to slide. What? what? Do not dive kick. Please stop. Oh, no. Oh, got the punish? No. Dropped it. Advantage to the overhead. That's it. It's done. It's done. I say oh, brutal, oh baby. Brutal. And he's going to winner's finals. We missed the brutality. I'm sad. It's all right. We heard it, We though. heard it. This is too hype. Oh, we're going to watch this Katana Mirror and love it, says KP. I don't know, man. It Can I... he do anything to Sunio after what we saw Sunio do to Honeybee? <laughs> Wait, no. What? What is that? You're supposed to be like, I know I can beat him. You got this. <laughs> I know that, but you got it's this. not happening. Coming up to the stream, Katana Prime. KP. KP going up against Sunio. Su this is going to be. Su 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 Wait, maybe he made it because of that? Uh, do you want to ask him? He's right there. No, he's he's buff. Like, what if it offends him? <laughs> he's going to beat you up. <laughs> he's going to hop over the stream and say, I hate that song. He's a pretty big guy. He is. So I think that's why Katana Prime saying that he's going to lose, because if he does win, he'll get beat up. There you go. That's how it works, right? That's, that's, that, that's, that's how fighting that's games That's why Sunil won every tournament he's been to. Yeah, he's like, he's like, hey, man, good luck. I'm going to beat you up if you win. It's like. Or he just he does the decay and he, gra he does a He, like, super crushes your hand. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> does he get x-ray on it when he crushes your hand? It's Someone. Like, some oh! <laughs> that, they should put decay in the game. And, and his x-ray is, is just like the manly like handshake. handshake. Yeah. And then he picks you up and slams you on the other side. Yeah. That's definitely other. Decay said the only person who can match his handshake strength is Gur. That's because Gur puts his whole body into it. He goes, <laughs> does he like? Poof. What, he does. Like a Go shake his rest? hand. No, Go shake I don't want to shake his hand. And it only comes I don't want to shake his hand because he didn't enter this tournament. That's true. No, I don't want to support Gur anymore. Yeah, exactly. I don't support Gur. He's more like, err. Err. It's whatever. Yeah, you're whack. AF. I am teasing her. Why are you, I'm te why are you I'm shaking teasing your head at me? I shake my head at you. We're teasing, I shake my head at you. We're teasing you her so much because he didn't want to enter a free tournament. And again, huge shout out to the Big E. I mean, yeah. he sees even before MK11 was it was even revealed. Yeah, he, he already put this game out as a free tournament. He's like, you know yes. what? Free tournament, 32 man cap. Exactly. Big E's always been, you know, super what, supportive. Yeah, so supportive of the NRS scene from from the get go. I mean, we're talking about like. MK9 days, where he gave us our entire whole room just to us. Where you would see Sonic Fox swinging his little legs on the chair, winning. 
tournaments, and yeah. then I would go up to him and say, you can't win this tournament because you're underage, and it says 17 or older to play this game. And then he was DQ'd from the tournament. Yeah. After he won Grand Finals. All right, look, look, man. I mean, <laughs> I know Sonic Fox is 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 esports player of the year, but you know, even back then in those days, he wasn't super dominant. He would win the Big E tournaments that happened to be on the same weekend as the big MLG events. That's true. Because all the good, good, good top players. Well, he wasn't able to fly out to those I tournaments. Mean, yeah, he was a little kid, but it's because he had to uh, travel with his brother, and his yeah. brother would only go to the Big E tournaments because yes. they had DOA as well, which Big E supports. You going straight into it? All right, we're going straight into it. So no button checks. Katana the first Prime time, really caring about the show. The first time I saw Katana Prime, his uh, his one. square button on his PlayStation pad was worn out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he just confirmed. You're supposed to be playing the match. Play the match. All right, see Royal Storm's Katana going against Mournful Katana. And again, Mournful Katana usually seen as the more lame one. She's got way better projectiles. And well, hold on. Right now, Sunio doing massive damage, putting him into the corner. I mean, and she's got great projectiles, but she also has she great also damage. Has great trash can ability. <laughs> Why not, man? Just chuck it. Throwing Just chuck the burning the, trash can. The old fire trash can. Thanks. We're just talking about trash. <laughs> just talking about trash. We are trash talking. Round two. Esports e trash talk. Okay, good breaker. Didn't want to get that started, but Sunio's Sunio's uh, keep away game is pretty ridiculous. It is, but hold on. Not ready for Katana. Beautiful side switch there. Going for the corner positioning. However, he's got to watch out for that interactable. It can get him out of the corner in a very great fashion. There we go. Return it back. Give him the reflect there. Katana Prime, another Let's jump go. in. Beautiful. Oh, no. Woo, the mix-ups, let's go. It is corner positioning. Gets out of dodge there, Sunio, using that meter burn, uh, or that enhanced shadow kick. Chucking fans for days. Katana Prime trying to get him in the, in the air. Definitely not, not a good trade. Oh, no, the block. That EX. Oh, oh, beautiful backdash. That was a great backdash. All right, that was sick. That, no, he won. He won. He Sunio, won. Get, you, lost that, you lost that one. Give that you to Katana that. Prime. See, now we have no signal. <laughs> That's how good it was. Looking to get the reflect there, and Sunio recognizing perfectly every time those those reflected fans do come back, he does know exactly what to do, getting around it. All right, and KP doing a good job at keeping them out, but Sunio just this guy's pressure is ridiculous. No, it is. I mean, it, it's not only that, but it's also just the presence of mind to keep this up it is very, very tough to do. It, it's not the easiest mentality to have, especially in such an aggressive game like MKX. Yeah, exactly. Everybody in this game, you rush down. But Sunio's found a way to, to play some uh, good zoning. Well, wake up Shadow Kicks and does it again with the down one. Oh, gets the trade. Yeah, Definitely not combo. in his favor. Not in his favor at all. No, that was all. terrible. That was terrible. All right, right now, Sunio looking for chip out and uh, gets it. Kind of gave up on that one, but I mean, it's hard well, to mount a comeback. After the thing that. is, when he throws that projectile, he can actually arc it a little bit up if he thinks his opponent's going to try to jump over it, mm -hmm. or arc it down if he thinks his opponent's trying to or duck under it. it without uh, without blocking. Yeah, definitely saw that, and oh, misses it there. Could have been a huge whiff punish by Katana Prime, but missed opportunity. Oh yeah, here we go. Neutral jump punch right there at the end of the oh, combo, but he drops, drops the it. under. He drops the lift. There you go, giving a little Very butt good. bash. Jumps over. Great yeah, fan. Definitely butt bash versus shadow kick right now. And fan versus, what is that? A ninja star? A giant ninja star? Giant clobbering star. Infinite stars. Must be really expensive to throw away that many uh, fans and stars. No, no, see, after you're done with the fight, you go back and pick them all up. Oh, okay. It's like when you go pellet gun shooting. Oh, okay. You just pick up all the yeah, pellets. Yeah, just pick from them up again later. It's like, sorry, I hate you in the back, soldier. Oh, <laughs> looking for some kind of air to air there. Both players that would have been sick. just going right through each other. Katana Prime forced to use two bars there. Doesn't want anything to get started with Sunio. Katana Prime. Complaining to himself. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny, like complaining out loud. That's what you got to do, man. That, that A lot Distract of players some. do that. 
a lot of players love to just get out that frustration and just like yell mid-set like I hate this or I messed up really really bad I kind of do that at third strike that, that's what, that, that shows passion man that, that is passion and dedication a lot of the times I say oh you should head but I'm talking about myself you should you should always talk to yourself like that wow thanks Friend. Katana Prime going to uh, player select not sure if he's looking for a breather or looking for a change Dark variation Empress. And Katana Prime switching over to the same variation. Not only is this a mirror match, this is also the same variation mirror so it's match. A true mirror match. Yes, true mirror match. Just chucking so many projectiles on the screen Round over one. and over again. You're going to what? Oh, yeah. That sounds good. All right, so right now, Sunio gets the first bar. sunio has been very dominant these past... Uh, few tournament matches actually I mean it, it, he doesn't know what he's doing obviously I mean this is his main variation I haven't seen him go anywhere else and I can see why I mean you look at Sunio's gameplay in Injustice 2 Cyborg Green Arrow always with just the the, the sit back the lame, zoning yeah. Main mentality yeah I mean it's smart so, oh it goes right through it but the comeback there it's definitely the exact opposite of Sonic Box so people aren't used to seeing too many lane players very good conversion. Let's go. Let's go, Katana Prime. The real, the real Prime. Hits him with the overhead. Good block. Oh no! Breaker has to do it. He, he wants to. this round. He wants, he wants, wants round. it. He wants it. Oh, the fake out. Oh, smart. Okay, the okay. Fake out. Oh, smart. Going in. I agree. Messing with that jump trajectory and just baiting Sunio into pressing a button. I just saw in the chat somebody said, "Is is this a mob? I don't know. I don't know, man. That Katana was a great Prime. Round. He's trying to change this all up. No conversion, but good punt. Oh, it was yeah. good patience from uh, KP, but you know, although both these players are playing the exact same character, exact same variation, you can see how one, you know, who wants to be a little bit more aggressive, and it's yeah. definitely Katana Prime. Yeah, Never mind, KP. as Sunio just runs in and goes <laughs> to the down two. He's, uh, I think Sunio is probably listening to commentary. Oh my God, he's gonna take that guy in the back. Never mind. <laughs> Just chucking plasma over and over again. I like seeing matches like this where people just throw projectiles at it. Wow. Went right through him, ducked slightly. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly, and it goes right through. That's how it works. Wow, that punish. That slight delay on the throw. And the zoning from Sunio is OD right now. Oh, oh he my runs God. In. Runs in. He was looking for something. Something to turn the tables. And that's where... That, that true full game or zoning mindset really, really defines you is when you make those decisions to stop doing it. Definitely. And that was uh, very smart to do meter burn just to get the armor, to get the hit. Wow, goes right under it. But that's uh, it. it recovers immediately. As soon as she hits the ground, she's okay to block. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay. Okay, Sunio. We see you. We see you, Sunio. Oh, chasing down the back dash here, Katana Prime. Okay, getting started KP's here. like, I still know this character too. He's trying to get his first game. Goes under it. What wow. a beautiful punish! What a there. punish! Oh, oh. what? <laughs> Full string and nothing. Wow, EX. Okay. Let's go. Keep going. Great wake up attack. Oh, the conversion! Now watch, watch out. Sunio does uh -oh. have bar. He's got bar. It's coming back. Oh. oh. Katana Prime bringing the heat, but it just wasn't enough. I Can anyone stop Sunio? I don't know. Can anyone? I don't know, man. He's like been super dumb. Wait, has that was that another? Three? That was three zero. That was another three zero. That was a three zero. Sunio is on wait a tear right now. It, did Sunio get invited to the reveal? Did he? I'm not sure. You can go ask him. Sunio. Sunio, did they invite you to the MK11 reveal? He said no. no, straight up. This is this. He wants his invite right now. He, he says wants if he wins this, what? Tyler, I know you're watching, bro. Paulo, I know you're watching. Paulo, send Sunio an invite. This guy is a monster, man, and, and such a great supporter. You know, not really like the the. Always a caliber player to to at least go to the events that are in driving distance of himself. Definitely. He was at Defend the North, usually at the Big E events, and plays online a lot. Always I mean, participating in War of the Gods. You can tell. You can tell. His yeah. gameplay is, like, solid. 
<laughs> That's the spicy meatball. We're uh, looking for Euphoring, who is next on the stream, I believe. He's going up against Station. Wait, is that that's a uh, winner's semis then, right? I don't know, but you guys can follow the bracket along on Smash.gg if you look for NEC MKX free entry tournament. And uh, you know, again, the prize pool being provided solely by Big E. So huge shout outs to Big E for Thank always, you, Big e. always supporting our game, always supporting our scene. Definitely. You know, and it, and he's one of those TOs that you know, if you just go to him, tell him, hey, something's going on. Yeah. He's one of the TOs yeah. that feels like it's more reachable instead of, like, I have to reach him on Twitter or something, you know? No, I mean, you know, Biggie's always been there for the players. Always Definitely. been for the players, and I don't see that changing ever. Nope. So, huge shout-out to him. And All right. Looks start. like we're, 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 trying to, we're trying to solidify who's going up on stream. Let's, go so, let's do some AMAs, guys. Ask us anything right now. Uh, we got some chocolate. This is a... Uh, Hungover. I and like hungover. Yeah. Hungover is definitely me, and then whatever is whatever. Is me? Yeah, whatever. So if I just put it right in front of my face. Looks just like you. I think we could put that on TV, and people won't notice the difference. No. That was terrible. So, yeah, Sunio. Sunio's been uh, really dominant, too. Well, not, not so dominant, but he's had very exciting matches. He has, but I feel like at the end... He was always in control. That's that's basically it. Like uh, beginning of the games, it's like okay, whatever. It's like nope, <laughs> not another advertisement. It's like <laughs> no, we're not going to ads. Yeah, we're, unless yeah, we run, are. We're running ads. We're Let's gonna run, run some, some ads. ads just for you guys. The stream the will be right back. back after this break. <laughs> there we go. We no got break. some hoodies. Um, it's twelve seconds. Jesus Christ! Because it's just uh, a reel. It goes. Check out that Blanca bowl right there on the right. Beef defend techie. the North. Go to it. Great tournament hype. It's in New York. I mean, not get only pizza. do you go to do you go to a great tournament, you get great pizza. You get the best pizza. Northeast pizza is the best pizza, no doubt. Do you hate Chicago pizza? No, don't say that. Don't say that. Chicago. NRS is watching. It's not pizza. It, it, sh stop. Okay, Quamba. It's single layer Quamba design. USA.com. You get ten percent off site wide. Use the code EDC nineteen. This whole weekend, that drone stick. And if prodigy. you're like me, you're carrying your Switch everywhere for no reason to play Smash. Get a Smash box, and you won't be able to use it because you need a USB port to use it. Anyway. No, but I think the Smash box is the hitbox it's specifically for... Yeah, but it's not wireless. It probably has a GameCube adapter. Oh, yeah, you need the GameCube adapter. Anyways, go to Winter Brawl 3D. You see the games right there at the bottom, Tekken 7, Soul Calibur Wait, 6, is that the Dead only games or running? Alive 6, yes. Wow, only And Blaze 3Ds. Blue, yes. He, he was trying to make it a 3D or a mostly 3D event. You know, Big E understands the FGC is growing. You know, maybe there's no need for three yeah, regular major Street events. Street Fighter 5s and, like, Mortal Kombat. Well, Mortal Kombat won't be out by then, so. No, it won't be out by then, so. Uh, be tuned for Summer Jam, though. Yes, Definitely Summer Jam, def yes. Always, every single year. And usually, you know, I, I believe the first year that Injustice came out, Big E did make our game the last game of it the was. entire night. Yeah. It was. I remember that specifically because there was a lot of people that were upset about it. It's like, come on, it's a new game, it's fresh, and it's good. I, I think we had a great I want to see that prime time. I want to see right. those intros, man. They didn't let the intros rock. I'm they don't want to let the intros rock. I think they don't like each other too much. Especially by this combo, I can tell. When you don't like a person, your combos hurt that person even more. It has to. The, the game knows that you don't like them. And yeah. Great, oh, here we go. Great use of that stand 1-1 one, one by Euphoring, trying to keep Station honest because Station knows that is uh, plus on block. It just goes right for the mix-up. Checking him with that down one, trying to get something going here. Goes for the slide from downtown, the oh, Hail Mary. Me. He definitely learned that from you. That's why you get so excited for it. Is it a Colombian thing? It must be a Colombian thing to just want to slide whenever you want. It has to be. It has to be. Up ball, Kano. Tucking it now. This variation is a little different from the one that we saw before. Uh, nice Biohazard block. using Commando and Cutthroat. This one is the cybernetic, the yeah. lasers. You have the lasers, and he's also just chucking so, so many projectiles that hit his mids right there. As you can see, Euphoria yep. getting a little frisky there. We got the grenades in the building. <laughs> oh. Wow, full screen slide. What, what a maniac. That is an absolute maniac. Your opponent was nowhere near you. 
<laughs> absolutely <laughs> suicidal when you want to do that right in front of station. And station's like, no, you're not going anywhere. Wow, station's you're just staying keeping in this them, corner. Stay in the station. <laughs> stay in this corner station. Now we got the branch in play. Are we going to use any bar? To, to, to add some armor to it. No. No, it looks like he's trying to walk himself out. Full screen slide again. I mean, look, Euphoria's okay with being in the corner because he's like, you know what? I'm just one slide away from, from getting out of the back corner. In. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Gonna launch him up. Gunshots. Gunshots wow. again. Are look we gonna see command damage. grab? Yes, we are. Wake up from Kano. Nope. Blocking. Good check. Yeah, trying nope. to keep him honest here. Oh, oh. But whiffs. Nice command grab. Beautiful tick through. And you four off to a great start, trying to chip him out. Nice back dash. Okay. Oh, he got hit on the way down. Those mid gunshots are so hard to get around. You you can't duck them, and you just when you have that little health, getting chipped out is not an option. Definitely. Trick shot over and over again. Wow, the slide. I, it's I'm overhead, you. overhead slide. slide. I mean, why not, That's man? The best of the and I think that's what Euphoria loves so oh, much about nice this overhead. character. The mix ability in any variation slide is again. insane. Okay. You slide again, man. Why not? Until you start getting full, like fully punished for it. I feel like I would rather get hit by those meter burn uh, knife throws instead of actually just blocking it because Kano is super plus afterwards. Yeah. Definitely don't want to give Kano the advantage to come in and do something. Oh, and that was definitely a trade in Kano's favor, but Euphoria ready at the helm to press those wow, buttons. Wow, he backs off. I'm surprised. I mean, he probably was looking for maybe a meter burn move. Wow. Do it again. Do it oh again. My God. The down two going right through the armor. He didn't have enough health to withstand. Even though that slide gave him armor, he, he just couldn't survive he it. He couldn't survive it. That was uh, very good from Station not backing off in that situation. Gets hit out of the air. Chucking those call traps, going over, but not getting the conversion. Nice cancel. Oh, goes to the other side, meets the breaker. Kano balls just to get in. He knows there's no stamina and there's no other option to just quickly get in and press some buttons. Here we go, cancels. Wow. Tries to interrupt, but nope, no dice. Wow, okay. <laughs> yes, the last hit tracks no matter where you are. No, I mean, that was weird that he didn't get punished for that. It was a little scary. A little scary situation there. Quite a scramble. Station, you know, recovering from the up ball. Wasn't really sure what to oh, do. Oh, conversion! Cal drops. Has to meter burn just to back him off. Because right now, Euphoria's just going way too ham. Way too. No, no. He's not going ham enough. Jumping over that, that knife. Slide. Oh, it's a low. Not sure what he was looking for. But right there, he wasn't looking for that meter burn sand ball. Wow. That was actually really good. What a he, confirm. What no, a he confirm. just knew. He knew. He knew. He, What's up, Shock? <laughs> getting hit by the end of that string, oh, no, 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 recognizing it, switching over no to idea. that stance, and launching him for so much damage. Okay, I am. Okay, okay. All right, so uh, we just got word we are going to be doing KI in a little. All right, uh, we're, we're holding off winners, losers, and grand for this. Okay, so winners, losers, and grands are not going to be played off stream. We're going to hold that for later. But right after this Prime match, time. we are showing KI for two hours. So if you guys are big fans of Killer Instinct, another almost as violent video game. Almost. Almost. Definitely stick around. and uh, Definitely violent when you're playing uh, Thunder. He steps on your face. That Speaking of stepping on faces, he's getting shot in his face right now. Shot over another, and over again. Another. Give him another one. Why another not? one. Give him another one. No. Checking him with that down three. Wants nothing to do with it. Great block there by Euphoria. Understanding that he is at a negative frame advantage or frame disadvantage. Wasn't close enough to the corner for the conversion for that, but still has Kano in the corner. Whoa. Wow. A ball in to get out of there. Can this be the room he's looking for to make the comeback? I don't know, because, uh, yeah, it's giving him a lot of change. How do you avoid that? How do you avoid two very quick gunshots that hit as I mid? Aaron Black, Gunslinger. Let's I don't know, go. man. It's kind of it's kind of hard to not accept money from people when they're just, you know, throwing it at you. Yeah, man, why not? Oh, oh a little bit of a conversion. drop. And again, Euphoria being very respectful there in that situation. 
Yeah, it seems like Euphoria's uh, respecting Station more than Station is actually respecting him. I mean, look, when you sit down and play next to a little kid, you're going to be like, eh, he doesn't he know anything about dog. frame data. What does he know about life? He doesn't, he doesn't even know how he got here. <laughs> Well, ask him what he had for breakfast. He can't remember. No, but that, that's it's definitely a misconception of Euphoria. Euphoria really understands the gameplay at its highest level. I mean, clearly you have to to take out a player like Biohazard. I don't care how old and the game is. Not even that. Get this far in the tournament. Look at this. 2-0 already. Wait. That was that, that was the third game. That was not 3-0, was yes, it? Yes, it was. R3-0 Speedwagon? Yes. R3-0 Speedwagon. Now we are switching to KI, guys. So if you're big Killer Instinct fans... Did, is that when they said? They said now? I, I think so, maybe. I don't think we're going. Yes. <laughs> Icy saying yes. Our per, our producer right here, Icy. Uh, executive producer, Icy. Got it. So stick around if you're a big fan of KI. Later, we're going to be coming back with Injustice 2. And then a little bit later after that, we're going to have the finals. MKX. For finals. MKX, yes. We're going to have Losers Finals, Winners Finals, and Grand Finals. So who do we have in uh, Winners Finals? We have Sunio and we have... Is Euphoring on there? I can't Euphoring. follow the bracket. But Euphoring, Euphoring has not been knocked into losers. No. So I, I believe so it's, it's Euphoring it's and Sunio in uh, our winner's finals. And then loser's finals is still to be determined. Yes. So or loser's guys, semis, too. If you guys do want to follow the bracket, you can follow the bracket along at smash.gg, along with any other tournament here this weekend. Don't look at their strike results. I didn't win. Don't look. What would you get, second or third? I got second. Oh. Uh, you, who, who, you beat the guy in losers? Why can't you beat that Dudley player? Shut up! He's not. The, you're playing Yun. Yun is broken. All right, guys. Ki coming up. All right. Don't go anywhere. Ki, stay tuned. I, lo I love you. Oh my god, that was so loud. What the fuck, man? Look at this. That's not esports. Shit. What's going on, everybody? This is NEC. What's up, guys? 2018. We got MKX, of course. Nice little hype factor, especially with so much attention going to the new game, MK11. Everyone is just so excited, and there was no way we could have a Big E tournament without begging. We needed something. We, we needed something. Begging. Like, Big E actually predicted this. I think he kind of knew when MK11 was going to get announced. That's why he started holding an MKX tournament. That's true. He actually did announce... The MKX tournament before we had any kind of MK11 reveal. Well, we didn't even know. We were like... No one knew. I mean, no, nobody knew. The people on the inside, but... Yeah, I guess. They tricked us. They did. They did. Um, it's like, now presenting the sports award. Oh, hi, it's me. It, uh, <laughs> boom. That, that was a great, great troll. Thank you, Shaq. That was a great troll. It was. Um, I'll take this one. Wow, Thank you me. took the cold one. What? A uh, you have a koozie on that one. This one, We're sponsored. We're sponsored by... Uh, Happily ever after. Oh, I'm sorry. The Johnsons. Someone's uh, wedding. Yeah, that's it. This one is uh, sponsored by Weg Wegmans. Wegmans. Wow. Screw whoever's wedding that was. Wait, are we doing shots of water? Is we're that doing, why? We're doing water. We're doing water uh, shots. Right, no, we're not. We're no. All right. So the top three for MKX, in case you guys haven't been watching, it's been a great tournament up until this point, and I, I feel like it's still going to be. It's pretty nuts. Like. uh Definitely ruined my fantasy bracket. I oh, had of a course, fantasy. of course. I was like, all right, you know what? Biohazard and uh, his brother, they were both on Chasing the Cup. His brother, whoever he is. I don't know. Some some Flash nerd. <laughs> some Flash. Some Flash <laughs> God nerd thing. Um, <laughs> Subscribe to his Patreon. <laughs> yeah, and definitely subscribe to Honeybee's Patreon if, uh, you know, you really want to help out someone who's, who's working hard in the community. I, you know, I feel like I shout him out every time. I but I feel I like, too. but he's the only one that's like really he's putting really, himself out there. Yeah, he's proactive about it. Like a lot yeah. of people are just like, oh, you want to play me? All right, whatever, pay me money. Well, no, I mean, it, it, it's also, <laughs> I feel like you do get something from his Patreon, it's, which is really cool. And why I would be happy to just kind of promote it for no reason where like, I'm not going to tell you to, to go to someone else's Patreon and then like they never check it or give so what we're their saying, Patreons anything. We're shilling for Honeybee right now. There we go. Shameless plug. Who didn't even make top three in this MKX Ooh, death bracket. It was, Tough, man. It was crazy. Uh, Sunio was a... Uh, Sunio's on point today. He's crazy. I think he's... Has he 3 0 everybody that we've seen him play so, so far? So far, yes. Yeah. The, the KP got pretty close. He took some rounds off of him. He did. 
Um, you know, especially at the end when he went just for the straight same, up mirror. Same and variation. Mournful. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, you know, people have been holding their own, so it's okay. Yeah. It gets close. Here you go. Here's your nice combo breaker jacket. All right. Whoop -de -doo. That guy was like falling asleep. Wait. <laughs> what? He was falling asleep during. He was like. Oh, God. So, Sunio's been playing on point. And I feel like it Mordful just suits his playstyle so well. It does. You know, it but does. Let's talk about the player on the other side. The young gun. The guy that I, nobody saw I, coming. I didn't see him coming. It was like, oh, it's just some punk kid. Some <laughs> little kid in a little hat who, you whatever. He's just going to mash buttons. Yeah, he doesn't know anything about frame data. He's going to furry later on. I don't know about that much. <laughs> and and I, I, mean, was, look, I was trolling about him not knowing frame data. He does actually no frame data very oh, very are well are you kidding me he was playing amazing yeah so good and he and he loves bullying you with that aaron black stand one one and based on what whatever you do after that will dictate his decisions and that's that's how you play to the frame data that's how you play to the to any fighting game yeah and let me let me talk about you foring was 10 years old when this game came out he was 10 years old in fourth grade when this game came out like that's ridiculous and he's going toe to toe with an adult, a full. <laughs> I mean, all of them, man. I mean, <laughs> let's let's not wait, let's wait. not downplay that that victory over Firehazard. It was very close, wait. but this is winners finals. Yes, this is. Yeah, yes. Uh, can I you change the thing? It's it's winners finals. Winners finals. This is winners finals. You four made it all the way through here. He eliminated Biohazard. Uh, and I believe in like round two or three, and it, it was close, man. It was close. It definitely wasn't one sided by any means, but you know, to to be able to take it to Biohazard. Yeah, he took it uh, straight up. Yeah, no, it was good. He, he definitely I mean, earned he that. Ru he ruined my fantasy bracket. That's it. He ruined everybody's. All right, guys, I'm KX. I hope you guys are excited for this because I know I am. We all have MK Fever right now, so let's feed into it just a little bit. Who's going to get the first hit? He goes for the slide, and it doesn't go punish. Well, okay, armor. I do like that he got out of a bad situation. Oh, and you and he gets the, the first hit. Oh, but gets hit. And right now, Sunio got some good damage. Great overhead there by Sunio. Euphoring trying to get out of that situation. Oh. Nice patience. Yeah, we're going to see a nice punish. Oh, we're going to end it with the command throw. We don't want to switch sides over here. Get her close to the corner. There we go. Love the tick throw. Although it was the wake up. I feel oh. like it's still a great tool. Oh, God. He slides right into it. He slides, he slides again. again. Oh, the slide whiffs. You know, it, it's so tough to, to really find that spot, and I feel like that spot might not even exist. But as soon as Katana lands on the ground, she is good to block. Yeah. After throwing that projectile, she is good to block. Nice conversion, uh, corner carry, but gets put into the corner by the wake up slide. Oh, there we go. Those are the confirms we like to see. The stance into the gunshot, knocking him up higher into the ground for combo ability. Oh, and a good trade. That was a good trade for Euphoring because he did not get a full combo off of that exactly and Sunio getting a little antsy there not wanting to sit still and euphoring picking it up perfectly this is a kind of uncharacteristic from uh from Sunio from Sunio yeah looks like he's trying to be more aggressive he doesn't want uh adaptation he doesn't want adaptation yeah that was absolutely perfectly precise adaptation there from Sunio And uh, sorry about the interruption there. But no, let's talk about that move right there. Sunio, as soon as the game started, the first match, tests Euphoring, throws out the projectile, meter burns it so it comes back, Euphoring instinctively. Use that armor, enhance slide to get out of a bad situation. Sunio tried it again right there at the end of the match, punished him perfectly. Because yep. he knew he was going to slide, so he jumped back and with punished. That was absolutely textbook. And... Right now, uh, Euphoring's like, you know what? Let me just bust out the chainsaw real quick. Let's, let's bust out those rusty chainsaws here for everyone to enjoy. Leatherface. We love those movie characters. Keep them coming. Goes right in there. Go straight. I'm not, not really liking the start of this. And wow, that's, that neutral jump punch. Yeah, man, that, that's extended out there. I don't know. I don't like this Leatherface. Maybe we'll mm. see a switch back. Great tech roll to kind of get a little space between yourself and your opponent and also get you off the ground a little quicker. Oh, misses it, but still gets hit. He's got bar. Spend it. Why not? Make sure this combo hurts. Breaker, stop that right now, and I'm going back to keeping it lame. Yeah, there you go. That's a 
that's actually the best thing he can do right now at this moment. I mean, so sometimes you gotta bust it out just to see, oh, can you actually get past this? And he does. All right, gets another chainsaw. Meter burns it this time. Not enough meter to. Oh, drops the combo. That is a huge That's missed a opportunity. Drop. Huge missed opportunity for you, for and he needs to shake it off. Don't stay in the patch. Just look ahead. Keep it in the past. That's fine. Things happen. Good block. Combos get dropped. There we go. Hard to enhance it. See the restand. Oh, checks the unblockable. Does not want to get hit by that. Nice cancel. Oh, good block. Nice punish. And we're going to lift him up, keep him in this corner. Never mind. We're going. Yes, we are. Yep, we're going I back to this how, corner. <laughs> I forgot how the combo works. I forgot ended. how it works, yeah. Nice conversion. <laughs> I like how Leatherface screams like a woman. He has to. He's a pretty lady. Well, that's a that's a oh that's the wrong variation. That's the wrong variation, bro. All right, all right. Nice restand. Yeah, we're gonna leave him in a standing position, and right there he was looking for him to poke out, and again looking for him to and poke out. Good backdash. Wow, gets under the shadow kick. I mean, this is Jade. The shadow kick does go through. Oh, oh what a conversion there by Sunio. Now that was a way closer round. So, you know, I'm honestly torn between what decision you four is going to go with. Do you stick it out with with Leatherface or do you go back to Aaron Black? I think he should uh, stick it out with Leatherface. I think Leatherface is doing a better job of, of, of getting through those projectiles, but it's still and such a tough thing it to was. punish. It was because he was, uh, he was keeping good pressure, but, I mean, there's only so much you can do before you have to worry about him busting out or something. Exactly, exactly. But Euphoring, I'm not sure. I haven't seen him playing any other character. I know those two are his, you know, I know Aaron Black's his true main. He goes to Leatherface for certain matchups. Um, Does he have another one, maybe? I mean, I'm sure he dabbles with a lot of characters. You know, it's not But a, might not feel tournament ready with them. I mean, Aaron Black's done so much for him already. You he know, has. Switch back to Gunslinger. Maybe, maybe yeah. a different variation. Nope. No, back no. Back to Gunslinger. I, he, he was playing Outlaw when Outlaw was really strong in the game's meta, but I feel like now, you'll even see a, a player like Sonic Fox playing this variation, this specific variation, with the way the game is now. Yeah, with, that's true. You know, armor I mean, he was being actually, gone. this was his, uh, his main variation. You're talking about Sonic Fox? Yeah, or? at the beginning. Mm, I mean, he, he did, in, not in the very, very beginning, because Gunslinger was really, really bad when the game came out. I guess it was, was that like patch the, right before Combo Breaker then? No, that, man, he, he was he was playing out uh, he, Sonic Fox was playing outlaw like that he? was his variation yeah that was that was his thing all right anyways we're uh, focused on something that doesn't matter right now because Aaron Black's actually working for him right now he is he's doing he's doing a great job and a great presence of mind there to remember that that, that comes back yeah that that enhanced boomerang is coming back and again, maybe utilizing more lame options. I feel like he should look for some trades, not really look for an opening, but there we go. We're getting a little oh. dangerous there with the slide. Nice backdash there, even though he did end, end up dying. But yeah, yeah, good no. presence of mind. Round two. I mean, hey, the longer you can you know, keep the round going, the more potential meter you could build. Great jump over there wow. by Euphoria. Great with punish. Oh, goes oh. under it, and that's going to be a Gets huge punish. punish. Nice back to the corner. Yeah, great presence of mind. Always worry about spacing. Nice Always blocking. Worry about where you are. Oh, and the punish. That was a great bait. That's it, man. That's that's a. I, I feel like Euphoric needs to stop doing that. Stop. Just because yeah, he knows hard. he's gonna do it. Oh he knows God. he's gonna do it. Is Sunio about to three-o every one of his opponents today? He possibly could. I don't know what happened to Sunio. He's been through some stuff, man. And and who said that MK, MKX is just an all aggressive game? I mean, here's Sunio playing a very lame, zone heavy character. Yeah, exactly. And He's living his best life right now. No, he a is. Full bar one. <laughs> what a trade there. Oh, and a whiff punish. Good breaker. Great block there of the overhead coin. There we go. Anti air coin, but. Back to the full screen game, man. What's in the box? What's in the box? There we go. Whiff punish. Waiting for Sunio to go down with that neutral jump punch and be susceptible to this punish. What's going to be the mix-up? Going to keep him there. This and one's going to It's going to be enough. Yeah, it's enough. It's enough. Euphoria oh. on the board. No brutality. I feel like out of respect. He doesn't want to play with his Not food. Not yet. He understands. 
well, that I this mean, man is here to play. He'll also cool himself down, you know? That's Once true. you get on a streak, you don't want to stop until Ooh. you stop. Not blocking there, and no, that's a... That was quite a reach there with that slide. Very dangerous stuff. Speaking of reaching... It stopped his run. Yep, it did. Beautiful placement of the call traps. Nice trade. Good oh. block on the overhead. Look at that block there by Sunio and Euphoring. Not really sure where his opponent's going to be. He could have placed that coin shot a little bit closer. And what a jump back. No con no con confirmation into a combo, though. Oh, gets hit on the way back with no combo. Good conversion. And okay. that was a beautiful, meaty setup there. Katana decide deciding to delay the wake up, play possum a little bit, and give up the option of a wake up attack. You know, and in that situation, you know, Sunio didn't really have much of a choice there. Doesn't get the run cancel wow. somehow. That was a good uh, air delay. That's a neutral punch. Oh, and this one's gonna hurt here. Neutral jump punch, extending the combo, the nice bounce on the ground. Where are we gonna go? 30 damage, and right now Sunio's actually putting pressure on him. Well, <laughs> as soon as I say that, it goes back to turtling. No, and he messes wow, up the whip Messes it up, but still gets air combo. Slide, and then, ooh, armor on wake up. Now here, we can decide, we can say that this is going to be a, a meter building round here for you Euphoring. He doesn't want to spend any bars. He wants to hold on to it for the last round, but Sunio has been building bar of his own. Yeah, he is. Both players pretty much on full yeah. meter here. Sunio, yeah. a few projectiles away, never mind. He uses the in. EX right away. Slide to make sure it hurts. Wow, beautiful back read. Dash. That was great. Beautiful read of the back dash there. And Sunio actually could not break because he still didn't have full stamina. I think he wanted to take that. Didn't want to get hit with it on the ground, but that is going to be a huge whiff punish here. That was great whiff punish. Utilizing not to go with a breaker. Instead, maybe possibly thinking about the x-ray. Could yeah. be. I mean, it's, it's, maybe. it's breakerless damage. We get into that territory. If we get there, but right now Sunil's keeping him out. Oh, but he catches a jump. Caltrops are down. No breaker. Oh, and there, oh, it, is. And there it is. Wow. Ladies what and gentlemen, back. he got Ladies him in the gentlemen. corner, and he, he just wanted this. He played it perfectly. As soon as he got him in the corner, look at this kid adapting right. right back with the best of them. We're not, we're not doing it justice finals. Let's just do four out of seven. Yeah, let's just keep playing MKX. I mean, this is what everyone wants to see, right? Nobody wants to see Superman anymore. Superman's not in that game. Nerfed. That's what I said, Superwoman. Wow. That's what he hits like now. <laughs> that was a pseudo sexist joke. I don't agree with it. Don't like it. All right, never mind. You can turn off the stream now, I see. Turn off the stream. <laughs> I see's about to go to commercial break. <laughs> so anyway, buy a hoodie. Buy a hoodie, listen to some Mortal Kombat. Getting under it. Wow, that was great. Beautiful stuff there. Sunio so opting not to use that two bars for the breaker. Instead, holding onto it and, and escapes. Great. Wow. Great that was use great of interactable. Escape, but, uh-oh. Is he going to do it? Oh, so close, but gets hit with a wake up. And that was such a close round there, but Euphoring shouldn't come away from that thinking that he lost. He did make Sunio come off with two bars, so he's gonna at and a he's great still got position two bar here. Of his own. Yes, exactly. Nice block on the AX. Nice block again. Oh, but carries him to the corner anyways. Oh, great conversion. 30%. Oh, not quite close enough there. A little bit of a whiff on the back 3-3. Three, three. Oh, and the whiff punish on the way down. Was that? Was that a punish? Oh, drops it. American reset. He wanted that. He is he going to meter burn it for more damage? No. no. Going to stay. Wow, and meaty. What is. Wow, final final round. Final round. Two to two. Winners Sign. finals. Nobody wants to play you, you're whack. Oh, tries to jump out of there. And Sunio taking complete advantage of the situation. And if I was Sunio, I would back away from that corner because every time Euphoring has got him in that corner, he, oh, you always just one slide away. And of course he goes for the wake-up attack. Great move there by you. Oh, gets punished on the way down. He had a breaker. He had a breaker. He had to. Absolutely no choice. Can he make this comeback? He's done it it's before. It's hard. It's hard. It's close. I don't know, man. Those he, shadow kicks. Woo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he going to get enough for the breaker? No. 
slide. It is going to be a hard knockdown technically. Looking for the back dash. Oh! And U4 wow. going down, U4 getting his it. head sliced off. U4 goes down. Sunio taking it. And I don't know, man. U4 has to stay there right I in the seat. It was looking really bad for U4. It was. Because it was like, all right, you're he's up 2 0. Two. I. My. It, it's it's tough to come out of that mental block that you're down 2 0, especially when it was. There were pretty decisive games. It and was. He switched characters too, so. Exactly. And that, that kind of shows that, you know, he was a little flustered in that situation. But to have the mindset to, to bring it back all the way, 2-2, two to two, final round. Mm -hmm. And it just was barely Al not almost enough. there. And I really blame Sonic Fox for not showing up a little bit sooner. Because he hates us. He's too esports. Look. Mr. Esports, man. Sonic Fox, why didn't you help him? <laughs> you should have helped him. <laughs> he, says was, his, uh, he says uh -oh. his. No, 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 I didn't hear that last part. He said, "Euphoring's Aaron Black." It's God -like. like, and that's, that's it. it. He just left it at that. End of statement. Because it was the best compliment he could give. There you no, go. there you go. <laughs> so Sonic Fox giving Euphoring a little bit of tips out here on how to be a pro esports player. He says, "You got to be more." I feel like I've translated it. You got to be more, more gimmicky. <laughs> what he's showing, not gimmicky, but I feel like you have to not care sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes you can't respect your opponent. Well, like, sometimes you have to show your opponent that you have that in your arsenal. Exactly, that you are willing to do something insane, and maybe that's something insane in in, in Euphoring's arsenal are those full screen slides. Mm -hmm. Those full screen slides I mean, where he just propels himself forward. This entire day has been paying off, except in that last set, it didn't pay off as much. No, it didn't, but... It was good because he was utilizing it just to get in past the projectile, which was great. But... I mean, yeah. He did it, get punished a couple times. It was, yeah. No, it had to be. And, and that's... When you play a player at the caliber of Sunio, he's not going to leave damage on the table. He's not going to let things go unpunished. Yep. He's going to hurt you for them, and he's going to, not only that, but he's going to put himself in a much better situation. Now, these are button checks, guys. Yeah, Do not get excited one. yet. I mean, I get excited for button checks sometimes. Just right away? No, when they do something hype. Okay, I see. Or they do the same move like three times, and I'm like, ooh, he got hit three times. What about combo checks? I want combo checks to be no. banned from all tournaments. Combo checks only and that needs to happen that in That includes hand warmers. One. What about hand warmers? Oh, yeah, that's true. Smash that's guys, like, cheater. Look, this way, NRS enter, enter players, they check their buttons with combos. Smash players check their buttons with the whole friendlies. Really? That's the truth. I don't know. I'm just kidding. But here we go. Spreading this, rumors. Yeah, no, this is... Now, if you guys remember before, if you are watching the stream, these two have met in the winner's side of the bracket, and Euphoring and, 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 and Gesture had a very, very close set. Yeah, they definitely did. It was actually one of the more exciting sets because they were that close. I remember seeing a lot of purple stuff. Yep. Definitely saw a lot of purple stuff on the stream. And a lot of those wake-up slides, too. Wake-up slide, man. It's got armor. Why not? <laughs> Flips your opponent over to the other side. It's something about Colombian people, because uh, you, you definitely played this character and you played Batman, and they both have slides. I feel like a lot of people say that Aaron Black was very more like jo Joker-esque when uh, when MKX came out. He has a lot I can of see that. where he's got like you know the low sandball kind of looks like low canister. Yep. It's the launcher. Um, God, was All that the only thing? The crowbar. Is that the only thing? <laughs> yeah, he just needs a crowbar and then he's Joker. There you go. There you go. What a tick throw there, and it's going to be enough. I don't think we have. Did we have enough for a brutality? Did he have enough bullets? Yeah, you're supposed to. You're supposed to press a uh, light punch. It's light probably punch. not a. Oh, wow, I said light punch. I was playing MK2 way too much. Yeah, you are. Left punch and right punch over and over again. <laughs> All right, gets the first meter. I feel like Euphoring is just on another level right now. Yeah, right now it's uh it's been the whole day Euphoring and uh I mean Jester's studio. Jester's been killing it too, man. He just went he went through the losers bracket and you know he came out the victor after after that huge scramble. Yeah. You know, and in that losers bracket was Honeybee and Biohazard. Yep, the two guys I thought were gonna win this. Well, you thought wrong. Yes I did. <laughs> it's like I definitely shouldn't be ca like casting anything anymore. I was wrong, I apologize. Oh, a little bit of a drop there. Euphoring might have utilized a meter too hastily. Oh, oh gets no. back thrown. Purple stuff. Oh, my God. The Was that whiff. a delay? 
the whiff of the down like two, it, the delay, the delay wake up might have. I wasn't looking at you foring, but I think it might have. It might have been a delay that messed up the timing of Tanya, and really what Jester is looking for was was not for that down two to connect, but to at least make contact. Yeah, so it could be a block string and probably purple stuff. <laughs> so oh my god, punished. that damage! When you got that purple stuff on you, you don't want to hit a fireball. Yep. All right, it's got to be corner. magical. Oh my god. Double purple stuff. Let's go. Oh, oh my god. The fireball. The that damage was too much. That purple stuff is too explosive. Oh my god. He knew. Red like a book. Red like a book in this situation. Checking him with the down one right after. Getting real disrespectful. God. This rush down low. Nice throw. It was and a good presence of mine after the trade. Yeah, I mean, the trade is there. He sees that Euphoring's a Ooh, little bit no! of a... That is so much damage. What Somebody that, help! Like 30%? Somebody help, please! Ow. That hurt me. I think I'm on fire, guys. All right. Here, here could be the opening. Dive no. kick. No. That dive kick, right? Foot dive. Foot, foot dive or dive kick? I think that's a foot dive. I feel like dive kick is with one leg and foot dives with both. Foot, does foot she dive. do both? It looks like she does both. I think she does her toes straight, though, right? I see a little twirl. I don't know how you could twirl and just kick with one foot. Euphoria switching over to Leatherface. Now, I don't know. if Is this a trend? Does he just do his I second game? I think he game? does that. Maybe to throw off his opponent. It kind of works. I mean, it it worked last time these two yeah. met in a tournament. Yeah, he did some work. That, that's where uh, he started getting hyped for Leatherface. You love your movie, your horror movie Dude, characters. Dude, horror movie characters are the best. Because they belong in this game. This is like coming to a family reunion. It's like you finally get invited. It's like you can sit at the table this year. I mean, hey, I, I bet for so long people have talked about, I have talked about that. Just wanting something that just, I mean, there's so much out there that would just fit perfectly in a Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Even uh, maybe one of the characters from uh, M. Night Shyamalan series. Why not? Glass. Now I'm seeing a lot of lame play in this top three. Oh, I don't know about Mr. Glass, because then he'll die. It's a fighting game. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> he'll just he just comes back right after. I see the guy from uh, Split being in it. You get different yeah. variations. Split personality variations, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe the variation is you're one of the three characters from. Never mind. It's okay. Gonna yeah. meter burn it. Gonna extend the combo. Neutral jump punch. Going to leave him in a standing position here. Okay. Goes for the regular chainsaw. No one blockable. He was trying to mix it up because uh, he might have gotten checked. Doing it from that far. Like, just like that. Right he got there. the purple, yeah, stuff. purple stuff. Wow. Goes right through yeah, it, man. Chainsaw. Free armor. Yep. Good throw. And he's still fireball time. Nope, not yet. I'm not getting closer to chip, but nope. I'm not really seeing Euphoria teching a lot of throws. He's yeah, just he's getting, getting thrown. thrown. He's getting thrown for days, and it, it, it's one of those things that, after a while, you can you can develop a sense for it. Not only just visually recognizing it, but kind of like in what situations your opponent's gonna want to throw you. Yeah, I think he probably just Very forgot nice. <laughs> that throws were a thing because this game is so aggressive. You don't really look for throws like that. I mean, you're saying this game's aggressive, but I see Sunio waiting in grand finals using nothing but mournful katana. All right, listen. He is Tanya a throwing, j jumping back, throwing fireballs all day. I mean, I heard that this game was just run up and mix, and clearly that is not the case. Where's Sonic Fox? He would know better. Maybe. Okay. Gets the conversion there. I was like, is this a button check? He just got that clean conversion, huh? Maybe Jester forgot that it wasn't a button check. He's like, oh, man, this is a real match. Probably. Douse with the purple stuff. That's why he's putting him in purple stuff right now. That's getting combo. Oh, I he love special moves. Love those stand for combos right in the corner. 41% for one bar. Not a bad deal at all. Oh, we do have two hits of armor two hits. now. Yep, thanks to the last patch. She doesn't need it. Everyone's got it. Just kneecap them right there. Not bad. How does he keep reloading that revolver? It's magic, right? No. Nah. It has to be. He's got bullet fingers. I don't see it, it never happens. That's normal in Mortal Kombat. He never reloads. Checking him with a down one. Beautiful tick throw. He just reloaded. No. <laughs> I know, he just twirled. <laughs> there you go. Reloaded That's right where there. He reloaded. Right yep. before he puts right before he shoots. 
Right b before the coin and after the coin is shot. He reloads. Great block here by Euphoring. So much chip damage, though, when you're doused to that purple stuff. Pyromancer is no laughing matter. Nice right. block. Oh, oh no, dropped it, but... Oh, I mean, got meter. E even on whiff, th throwing the purple douse is... is wow. Recovers so quickly. He actually did that in his face. He did dive kick. Wow, what a whiff punish. What a <laughs> I, I love that he didn't leave it to chance, didn't go to the stance, Dude. and instead just went for the low sandball. Dude, that's like a... <laughs> That whip punish was so good, it reminded me of Ninja Turtles, where uh, Casey Jones and Raphael are in the park, and he does strike one. What a whiffer. That was him right there. That was it. What a whiffer. He was what a whiffer. Catching Tanya, pressing the little buttons there. Yo, can we get, can we get Casey Jones and MK11? Would Casey Jones kill people? No, because he'd, be, he'd have to be PG about it. I don't know, man. PG and MK don't really mix. I mean, do you remember how bad MK versus DC was? I didn't say he had, like, I didn't say he was banned from the game. I, I feel like Casey or Jones that would has be, to be, like... I feel like he'd fit better in the in the Injustice universe. I think it would be he wouldn't kill Casey anyone. Jones if he was in the comics. Then he could kill people. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Goes for the back throw right out the gate as soon as Euphoring just runs up to him. And you know, that's that's the, the, the main, the unique factor about this game is that run mechanic. Just instantly getting right in your opponent's face when you are, you know, a, a certain distance away. Oh, or you could just slide. slide like that. Dangerous uh, stuff. No, no punish. Can't. Oh he tried to go for the cancel. He tried to go for the cancel. Oh, he tried to go for a cancel himself. <laughs> Wake up purple stuff. Oh, this is going to be a bad situation here. Oh, no. Again, thrown for his troubles. I don't know, he's not getting to those. Throws are kind of dominating him right now. But Those are. He's in the corner. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. He popped up. We missed it. We missed it by a split second. He pumped his fist in the air in two frames. He's I like, mean, yes. I don't know how you could do that to a little kid I like don't know. That. How, how could you, like. How could you sleep I, at night? Do you have no shame? I guess not. And uh, you know, like I think, I think he's just a little kid. The little kid's laughing like, ah, loser. <laughs> he's amping himself up for Sunio because these two have not met yet. And the only not, person. Not this tournament. No, no. And, and the only person that really got close to, to, to Euphoring. And he had Euphoring down when they met uh, in winners earlier. So That's true. I feel like this could be a very good set. I think he can do we'll it. We'll see. We'll see. Also, I mean, not only that. We only got to wait, what, two two minutes? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> no, these, these two players are also maining two slower pace characters. Yeah, slower that's true. pace in the sense of, I don't know. Slower pace is not the right word. I mean, like, full screen. Full screen characters. Morpho okay. Katana wants to stay away from you. And Pyromancer, as soon as she douses you with that purple stuff. She's That's gonna. True. She's looking for that fireball to connect. They can still both play. Uh, I guess kind of air fireball footsies. Exactly. Exactly. So this is gonna be very interesting. The I, word. The word you were looking for was methodical. Methodical. That was not the word I was looking for. What? What? What were we talking about? I feel like methodical describes somebody who never swings when they're negative. That's methodical. <laughs> yeah. Someone who's like, oh, I'm negative too. No way in hell am I pressing a button. Like, nope. It is my turn to respect this man's buttons. I actually remember an old TYM post from the Injustice One days where someone, I'm not going to bring up who it was. KDZ. No. It yeah. was a, a tournament player, someone who was pretty good, and he says, I don't understand why people swing at negative. Round and everyone's like, fight. you don't always just do the buy the book thing. Sometimes you got to do the crazy stuff. Because if you just never swing when you're negative, someone's going to back through you until you die. You're just yeah. always going to be negative. I don't know, die. man. The only negative thing going on right now is what's going on. Sunio, he's been so dominant so far. And right now he's... This is kind of weird. I'm not used to seeing his character dying like this. I mean, look, you take away... Like I said, the, 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 main, the main theme to MKX, or the main theme to a lot of characters is kind of run up to your face and, and do something. But right now, Sunio is facing an opponent that is okay with full screen, that's okay with staying back, and has Man, the option to teleport like, away. You know what? I'll get away from you. Sure, yeah, no problem. You want to play <laughs> full screen? <laughs> I'll, I'll play full screen. Oh, what a drop there. Wow. Foot dive. He's feeling himself. He is. 
you saw how many teleports he did in his face. I'm going to teleport here. <laughs> hey, man, it's a meter oh. building round whether you're winning or losing. Very good air to air. Wow, just armors right through it. Hitting him with the low. Oh. That's so much chip damage. Can we talk about that? No, let's not. Why is that? It's just a thing. It's a let's, thing. No, let's not talk about okay, it. It's in Mortal Kombat 11. There we go. We need, we need that, that purple stuff to come back. We do. Wow. Fireball footsies. This is it, man. Full screen game. Full screen zoning options. Checking those fireballs. Wow. And, and perfect just, timing. Yeah, I mean, not, perfect timing. And Jester's doing a great job of being in that where he wants to be. Wow. Beautiful Very good bait. Block. Beautiful so bait. Is he gonna get, nope. Does not get it. Would you want Okay, we, got, we have one person in the crowd popping off. Popping off for Jester. <laughs> Let's go. I love it. Now we got more people out there watching too. They're not watching. They this. are watching. Look at it. Again, chucking that people plasma. People at home are watching. That's that's the Sunio default. You know, just sit back, chuck that plasma. That was a great delay on the dive kick right there. I want to point that out. It is. It was a good delay. Purple Very stuff. Good. Very good armor choice. I agree with it. He's just oh my mixing God. him up Mix over up. and over again, and Go then he again. throws it in. Fireball! Oh, he went for it. I knew it. I knew it. Purple stuff. Now the purple stuff oh, does no have punish. to does have to connect on hit. And look at him just being patient. He says, wow, "You know what? what That's fine." What a whiffer! Oh, there we go. sunil has got some tricks, man. Sneaking in that little low. Can he make this comeback? What's going to be the Watch wake the up? Armor. What Ooh. side was he on? Woo! The down two to seal the deal, okay. Sunio. Just when you thought it was all over for him. I don't know, man. It was looking pretty bad, and then he just turns it around like that. Just did it, man. That's that's a true veteran right there, man. Yeah, Sunio's if you can been adapt around. on the fly like that. Sometimes you have to. And you, she, as you see right now, Sunio's playing a much more aggressive game. Not really utilizing uh, more of the full screen options, but instead just trying to get in Tanya's face. Yeah. And Sunio might be a little bit out of his element, a little bit out of his comfort zone here. I think it's because uh, both of them were like comfortable with turtling. Yes. Like it wasn't just uh, Sunio you know, throwing fireballs and Tanya not being able to do anything, but he knew the proper time to jump and counter poke basically. Yeah, no, and and Jester's, Jester's doing a great job of blocking. Even when Sunio's getting nice and aggressive, yep. going with those lows, going with those overheads, he's keeping his composure. He's not, you know, you just saw a set before, Euphoring, every time he had to block that boomerang coming back, he always wanted to do something to get out of there. Jester, complete opposite. Okay with staying there, okay with being confident in his ability to block the mix-up. Ooh, and right now he's getting comboed, but a drop and a whiff punish. Good block. Wow, EX purple stuff. But yeah. wake up. Great avoidance there of the fire. Okay. Never mind. We're playing it's so much chip. It's so much chip damage. Shaving off. Nice overhead. Good block. Wow, great patience. Both of the players didn't press anything, and wow, Sunil took that. Yeah, that showed a lot of composure there by Sunio. Got the life lead, and as soon as he had enough wiggle room, just said, you know what, I'm going to back off. Even if we have to go blow for blow, even if we have to go projectile for projectile, it's in his favor. Definitely. And first hit goes to Jester. Yeah, getting that bonus meter. Thank now you, we, NRS. We have to see uh, now if Jester's actually going to adapt to Sunio's play from the match before. There Sunio is, getting aggressive, trying to backdash, get a little bit of oh, space. No. Oh, <laughs> barely avoided wow. that fireball. It's kind of like playing tag. All right, good armor. Wait, the purple stuff? Definitely didn't want to get Katana started. Sunio's looking he, like he's out for blood, dude. I mean, Sunio's mad. Sunio is triggered right now. Yeah, Sunio's running out. Wow, that dive kick! Foot dive, man. Can we man. talk about that? Foot dive? It's such a great tool. Nice block. Wow, great block. Ooh. Wow, just did it again. Just kicking her right in the gut. With punish. Oh, that oh, one's gonna hurt. Oh, 
What? He break wants it? it? He wants he it. Wants he wants it. it. He wants it. Oh, no, he doesn't get it. And that is a heartbreaker that's, when you commit really so bad. much meter. Two-thirds two of your meter. In the first round, too. Yeah, and, and, and you know... Hindsight obviously is 2020, but I'm pretty sure Sunia would have a better shot if he had two more bars than he actually did right now. Definitely, but right now he's about to build another two bars. Kind of losing the. Never mind. Is he <laughs> losing? It's hard to tell who's losing the zoning war. I feel like Tanya wants to be like a little bit higher. Um, you know, she. I feel like she wants to be just slightly farther wow. away than Katana does. Oh the, man! Wow. He knew. He knew. He was like, "This is the time. You will come in." Beautiful overhead there. Now, you know, Sunios does a good job of not overusing that move. That is Katana's only overhead. It doesn't lead into a combo, but it's a great hard knockdown. Yeah, definitely. Purple and stuff. And the EX purple stuff. All right, Sunio in the corner. Wow, great jump. No combo dive kick. Goes right what? through. Goes wow. right through. That's how Shadow Kick works. Hits him with the low. No! Oh my god! Armor for wow. armor right there. Sunio doesn't even want to watch his character get yeah, uppercut into death. Definitely not. We're going right into the fastest rematch I've ever seen. That was a that was the online type of rematch. Just smack it. <laughs> wow. Great presence of mind. I I definitely would have got hit by it on the way back. Checking him with a down three. Stay away. Boomerang mix-ups. Dive kick. Okay. That was interesting. And back to the zoning game. Okay. His zoning game is, like, getting progressively better as the match goes. I feel like once your opponent, and, and that's that, I feel like this, uh, this works for either of these two characters. Once your opponent is, is getting that momentum with the fireballs, you have to make one miss in order to, to possibly shift the momentum back in your favor. Oh, Tunio drops the under. Gets uh, it this time. Conversion, back into the corner. Overhead. You were just talking about how he wasn't using that a lot. And sometimes you gotta kick it up a gear, man. That's true. Oh, drops it, but. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, Gesture didn't have enough stamina to continue that combo, and that's why you saw his stamina meter blink. Good dive kick. Goes low into nothing, though. Is that the shimmy? Is that the MK version of the shimmy? Possibly. Walking back and just give him that <laughs> so nice little stand three. The jimmy. The, the, the shimmy fink? The jiminy jillikers. Checking that fireball. Checking that plasma. Oh that damage. Someone please wow, help Wow, that was so smart. Air dash, fireball. And, you know, so many similarities between these two characters. The the mobility that they have, Tanya with her teleport, Katana with her float, and just projectiles for days here. Wow, had a breaker right there, but right now Sunio working almost on a full bar. Might start seeing some EXs soon. Or maybe he's saving it for X-Ray. Oh my god, I just said it! You just said it. Knives to the throat and just slamming her back down on the ground. Look at the damage! Where'd her nose go? Uh, nose job. Nose job. Adinian nose job. Oh, the purple stuff. It hurts. Is this going to be enough for a comeback here for Gesture? Foot dive. Ooh, looking for it. He, he, he doesn't want to give him any room. He doesn't want to give him any wiggle room, any breathing room. Oh, no! Sunio gets it. Oh, Sunio just wants... He wants it. <laughs> Wait, am I hearing people in the hallway popping yes, off? Yes, they're watching the stream. People in the hallway are popping off. Every, people everywhere are popping off. People watching the stream at home are popping off. Some, some guy's on his phone right now while the match is happening in the room. Someone's trying. Someone's driving right now and on Twitch, and they're still popping off. Don't pop off while you're driving. Yeah, it's please, dangerous. please don't. Great dive kicks. Wow, Whoa. good patience. That was great patience by Sunio. Exactly. Just keeping it calm. Just wait for the opportunity. Like, don't press the button. Don't press the button. All right, cool. Press the button. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Press do the it. button. Checking the fireball. And again, Katana. Wow. Oh, three Ooh. hits in a row. Well, that Two. The, the second and the third one did hit. Or, I'm sorry, did combo. That, that projectile oh God, so that fast. Damage. But Down the, the shadow the kick. Down the wire. Ooh. He whips it. 
Oh, oh my god. Wow. Now I heard the stamina bar blink there. And th that tells you that you have insufficient funds in your stamina bar. So I don't know what Jester was exactly trying to do in those last moments. <laughs> I wonder what power bank they use. There we go. <laughs> insufficient funds, man. Insufficient Nothing there. Funds. Nothing there. No, you got to get your bank to be like, all right, I got you, but you owe me. <laughs> we got a stamina advance. Advance on stamina. Nice block. That was a good conversion. You know, might have dropped in and not got something as good. Maybe was more comfortable with grab Oki. Let's see. He's Just not checking grabs. Just is doing a great job of just connecting these throws. We saw him do it again a lot against Euphoria, and right now we're yeah. seeing it work so oh immensely God. well for, for First for set, him. we got a reset or a tournament champ. And right now, that's a good start for a tournament champ. Yeah, no, this is great. This is a this is point. Yeah, this is not going good for him. Okay. Caught him back dashing on wake up with nothing. Yeah, the EX is happening. Wow, log. log. It's, it's log. log. It's log. There we go. It's Red and heavy. It's wood. Okay. All right. Come on, man. Wow, this is last. This is final round here. I'm sorry, Give me man. potential reset. Log it. No, it's not happening. Sunio wants this. But, wow. I don't know, Cannon man. drill. Both players don't really oh have. God. They don't have anything the for beat. Breaker. Our combo could do it. Oh, my God. It's going to happen. It's happening. We got to reset. We got to reset. We got to reset. We got a reset! He didn't have stamina. He didn't have stamina, and, and Sunio just panicked. He took his hands off the wheel, and now the bracket has been reset. Jesus. Hey, Zeus, take the wheel. Hey, Zeus, Jeebus. Oh, that was a great bait. And even on the reset, we still got Sunio sticking with Mournful. I haven't seen him fray for... From this character, does he play anybody else? Uh, it's not to my knowledge. I feel like this is Sunio, and again, character loyalist. No, he's not necessarily a character loyalist, but he's definitely a, a zoner loyalist. If he's gonna go to another character, he's gonna go to another character that also implements Zone. all the things that he loves in zoning. Okay. Good dive kick. See, I like dive kicks. We love them every game. Yep. Third strike. A E. Um. Beautiful purple douse there, enhancing it to get that hit of armor. I can't think of any of your other fighting games with big dive kicks. Anyways. Every fighting game has dive kicks. What fighting game doesn't have a dive kick? You tell me that, and I'll tell you what dive kick it has. I was about to say melee, but I know there's a couple characters that do. Or uh, Smash Brothers. Smash Ultimate has like five characters that, that can do dive, dive kick. kicks. It's a thing, man. It's a... It's, it's, uh, Wonder, wonder what game invented the dive kick. I, it had to have been Street Fighter. Dalsim? No. Who did it before Street Fighter 2? Who did dive kicks before Street Fighter 2? Probably like some janky Nintendo game. It's Dalsim. Dalsim. Originator of the dive kick. Definitely not. We're going to have to look it up. Yeah, fact check us. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's going to have an answer for it. If like... I, I who, feel who searches specifically for dive kicks? Is like the origins of the dive kick. Somebody's gonna know. I feel like Ultra David would know who originated the dive kick. If it's he's like watching. it's there, like in a book on his shelf somewhere because he's a lawyer. <laughs> Whoa, hold <laughs> he on. He has to know the law. He has to know the law and the history of fighting games. That's true. Chucking that plasma. Oh, they're trading off. Wow, and uh, actual trade. This is so risky here for Tanya. Takes a little bit longer for her fireball to start up. Oh, oh and it hit behind. Clip it. Clip that. It's okay. That's it, that's how it's working as intended. Clip that. It hit behind what, him. I, what did he hit him with? When the she steel? swings, she swings in front of her, and then the last part of her fist hits right behind her. Slow it down, and you'll see it. Clip, clip that. No, don't clip that. Don't even bother. Purple stuff. Now, it shouldn't hit behind her. Now, purple stuff. I feel like it leaves you in such a great position, especially with a player like Gesture who loves revolving his gameplay a lot around the throws. It's just, you know, it's just such a great it's mind game. It's been working game. for him too, yeah. but... Sunio right now getting really aggressive with those, with, with with those projectiles. Yeah, arcing him in the right position, okay. arcing him up when he wants to jump, arcing him down when he's trying to, to avoid the chip. Shadow kicks. That was actually really smart. Sunio knew when to stop right there and didn't do another shadow kick. 
I mean, he, he sensed something. He felt it. And this is a world-class competitor right here. Yeah. Sometimes when you feel it, you feel it. All right, Sunio's trying to take this next game. He's actually trying to close it out a lot quicker than the last couple games. I mean, the pace between these two players have been so back and forth. You know, it's really hard to dictate who wants to be the zoner and who wants to be the aggressor. And I feel like it mostly revolves around, you know, someone having a life lead or not. Looking for the so. purple stuff? Well, that and meter. Yes. Once meter. they have meter, like, it's like, you know what? If I do get hit, I can break her out. Whatever. Wow, it just goes right over it. I mean, it's a way but to it's get a, out. It's yeah, a way to get out of the corner. It's a great way to get out. It's like, well, he didn't block it, so. So it's either get hit or uh, it faces right through. A little bit of a drop there by uh, by Gesture. I don't like him. And th this is where the, the, the endurance really comes out of a player. You yeah. know, he sat down for losers finals. He was also playing in the Injustice tournament. So that's this true. guy's been playing nonstop in, in a competitive well, setting for a while. That's actually uh, pretty good. Like, you like I'll, that? I do until I get burnt out. Like, it does it take happens. A, it does take a lot, but if I'm in that competitive mode, like I play each game better and I keep adapting, evolving. Yeah, I mean you definitely warm up, but at a certain point your your tank's gonna be running on empty. Yeah. And, and hopefully gesture right now wow. is not That's is not seeing whip. the signs of that. Because right now Sunio is kinda running away with this. Yeah, after being down by so much that 30% looks pretty good. Wow, dive kick. Backdash to back get dash out of there. Out of there yeah. Yeah, backdash is such a great option, a universal tool for, for every character on the roster. Ooh. Wow, and he got away twice. Absorbs what? the fireball with the enhanced fireball. That crazy. That's kind of messed up. A little messed up. It's like mine wins, yours doesn't. Yeah, look at oh my this is gonna be he it! He got it! Oh my god! Stolen! Stolen right he from looked, his hands! He's looking at he's him like, like I can't even count. Two or three! What was that? Katana. Two he got, zero. Wow. I I definitely thought it was gonna be one one. There was there was I, no way that he was gonna win that. And fight. I thought he looked at him like, you really took that from me. Yeah. Th that was that was yeah. mine. <laughs> like the Sanford Kelly to Rico Suave. He's like. Right before he slams really? the stick. That was the face I saw. The, the I'm about to slam, slam my stick. stick. Yep. Here we go. Oh, oh drops, drops the, the combo under. and gets punished for it. Hold on, Sunio. Don't get nervous just yet. Purple You're stuff. right there. Purple stuff still active. Fireball? Nope. Not even. Wow, block and blocked again. Oh, no punish. And gets checked. Good breaker. Keeps her in the corner. And the anti-air. Anti-air down two. Stay in this corner. This is where you live. You can grab that tree branch if you want, but it's not going to help you. He didn't believe in it. He didn't believe in it. Come on, man. Tree branch. Grab the tree branch. Grab the tree branch. No. Nope. Going for dive kick instead. Wow, read the back dash. Read the back dash or reacted to the back dash? You walked up to him and waited for him to flinch first and then attacked him. That's true. Maybe I'm scared right now. I hope he didn't react to it. I hope that was just like a really good read. I mean, he could be a samurai. He could, could be, be a samurai. I mean, Joker was in uh, Batman Ninja. Let's not talk about that. It's a bad movie. <laughs> Let's just not talk about it. <laughs> Coming from the, the Batman fan of the world. I just don't want to talk about it. Let's talk about this grand final set here. Sunio really just kind of turning it around here. Although Gesture did get the first round. Look at this. So decisive. This is, so close to a so flawless. flawless. Almost a flawless. So that's, that's a hood flawless. Fight. A ghetto flawless. Yep. Glossless. Honorary flawless. Double backdash and he's got no stamina. Even if he wanted to break, that's not an option. Now it is. And again, ju just keeping Sunio honest keeping wow. him in a standing position cutting is, away the, the access to the wake-up attacks this is crazy how decisive like how it turned around for tanya these guys are, are so back and forth right now it's really hard to tell i mean sunio could be taking the tennis player approach and just you know conserving his energy maybe nope. sitting back a little bit for this set or this game in the set that he he knows he can't win checking the no, log he can win I mean, this is pretty decisive, man. It's going to be a tough Good comeback. Block. Here we go. This yeah. might be the start. Did I just say that? Did I just say that? Say it. He's close to a breaker, though. But not. 
No oh. attack. Oh, the blocks! Oh, he, that's it, that's it. He wow. went all in with that low. Wow. Wanted it so bad. Oh my god, he wanted it. He definitely did. And you know I respect it though. But that's that's the frustrating thing. Now think of it, you're in Sunil's position. You're wow. in a final round situation, and to let your opponent get away like that, that's gotta be taxing it, on you. It is. Because it's like as you're getting closer to getting that one win, you're getting you're, like, more and more flustered. Yeah, you get no, you get more and more anxious too. Yes. It's like I need a win, like I'm tired of this. <laughs> I want this to be over. I want to win already. Yeah. Run up throw. Oh my god, he's getting his throw started. Oh, he went for it again. I knew it. I it's, knew it. it's throw, man. It's throw city he's here like, with against gesture. He's like, you know what? I got to do some throws, bro. Man, I mean, he's that's. getting his dive kick blocked a lot this set. Great play there by Sunio, knowing that armor was not an option there. Didn't have enough health to withstand the hit or survive the attack. As long as Sunio did something nice and meaty. And it's uh, still tournament point again, and Sunio off to a great start right now. Throwing closer to the corner. Overhead. Overhead, Overhead again, but hold armor. on, we got the purple stuff. The purple stuff armor ready to go. Is a fireball going to connect? Nice cancel, good block, and the X-ray. Oh. Is this going to be enough? Sunio saying no. No, no, no. It's, not said it's, not. it's not enough. It's never enough. I told you it's not enough. Yeah. All right, never mind. And Sunio takes it. That was a great set. That was a great, great top three. Great sets all Dude, around. Sunio's Down been, to the wire. Well, those last, uh, last finals that we had were uh, pretty close. They were. And, you know, it, also, I, I want to point out what a good guy Sunio is because he could have been like, yeah, yeah, shake my hand. Go ahead. And, and just crush his hand right there. Crush his hand and, and just, just got him by surprise at the end. But he said, you know, he did the good guy thing. He's like, no, man, that's not going to kill. Keep playing. Because people will get up. People get up before it's time to get up. I've seen people. Well, of course, we've all seen it. If you guys haven't seen it. This is like old archive footage, basically. Ooh. Go on YouTube, Please. watch Liston versus. Uh, I don't remember the Sea Viper's name. I forgot his name. Oh too. my god! I know he Planet Zero something. He used to go to Planet Zero. Go pu pull it up. Watch it right now. But Liston, this is this is the Street Fighter Four days. This is when Sagat, Vanilla Sagat was. Just absolutely broken. broken. Wait, broken. did way too much damage, and he's playing against a Sea Viper player. Kenso, that was his name. Kenso. It was Kenso. Yeah. So Liston, Liston versus, versus Kenso. Kenso. Such a great. Now, this is this is grassroots. I mean, this is before, like, any esports yeah. stuff. This is before. Before we even had, like, we only had, like, two streams a year, I think. 